Hello. Hello. Welcome back. It's the RP Geeks live on a Wednesday. If you happen to be watching live with the penultimate <laughs> episode, well, I guess we're still live on a Wednesday, even if you're not. Yeah. Hello, the future. <laughs> we're <laughs> live. I, um, honestly, Shamini, I don't know anyone who can interrupt themselves like you can. <laughs> Look, I don't want to be saying things that aren't accurate like i'm i'm fact checking as i go along yeah. i'm like adding little community <laughs> notes to my own yeah. intro yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like the battle against misinformation starts with you damn right okay and by you we do right. meet charmony <laughs> yeah we do meet me. yeah. <laughs> welcome welcome um we are i can't believe it's the penultimate episode already uh how did we get yeah. here very very fast um we've got our fantastic guests obviously joining us hopefully you all know the gist of what's going on uh by now <laughs> we don't <laughs> do we do we Not anyone what zach is gonna remind us of what's been going on so zach that we all because is... zach's on it right zach we, you know what? We were like before the stream starts. You did say, "Oh my God, Zach did homework," and I did. <laughs> Zach rewatched the end of the last episode, so as to remember exactly at what point in uh, combat we're in, which is apparently we're in combat. So ah, ah, go straight to that. We're in combat. I'll be fine. I did remember that bit. That was about as far as I got. <laughs> I was like, "Did we defeat those people yet?" Or who knows? <laughs> 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 apparently not. <laughs> Damn it. Damn, damn. So yes, thank you all to uh, everyone uh, watching live on Twitch at the moment, in the future on youtube.com forward slash rpgeeksd and and our lovely podcast listeners. We appreciate you all. Um, time for some little introductions before we dive into the story. Uh, I will go first. My name is Sharmini. I use she, her pronouns, as does human fighter Alani, who is heroic and good and occasionally maybe makes terrible mistakes everyone's yeah. still mad at me ha huh? cool cool yeah. cool 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 <laughs> emily bates hi i'm emily bates i use she her pronouns as do aria and zutash who are my little fairy fiend warlock duo i love them fiona we oh. all love them oh hello my name is fiona i use she her pronouns as does merrick my elven rogue warrior who also has made mistakes but i feel like in the grand schemes of good versus evil it's more like maybe should have called maybe should have sent a message instead of walking out a lot of my characters i realize i always go and i walk away and all those problems have gone <laughs> from my memory i do not uh, see I it <laughs> i do not see it so, it's not it so yeah lots of relationship things i don't think that's anything about my, me as a person but yes i'm playing Merit today and i'll hand it over to ed <laughs> uh, i am ed he him and folks <laughs> sometimes you have to reevaluate who you are as a person and uriah for the longest time he thought he was a villain. And he still is in many ways. He's not. But yes, he's not. Uriah wouldn't stick <laughs> yes. so low as to emotionally hey. betray his family. <laughs> mainly because he doesn't have one, because they're for cowards <laughs> and weaklings. Uh, but I am playing Uriah the Heartless, he him. Uh, he is as dastardly as they come, and uh, he's going to win. He's going to win DD. One so way or the other, Uriah. he's yeah. going to win DD. <laughs> <laughs> I am Arya. I have so much faith in Uriah. It's it's. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, I am Zach, and I will be your dungeon master for this game. No filthy game masters here, because we are playing D and D, <laughs> baby. <laughs> it's addition. You want the D? Woo. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we did not agree on this. <laughs> really we did not. That was not discussed. <laughs> So last we left off, our characters uh, were in the middle of pitched combat with soldiers of the Black Network Zentarum and Merrick's ex, Tilly, who is the leader of Zentarum. Now, you might be wondering how exactly they got themselves into that sticky situation. Well, I'm here to tell you that it involved a backflip out of a window that Fiona <laughs> didn't think had glass in it, right. um, <laughs> along with gently pushing her ex, not knocking her prone, and her ex going, what are you what, doing? What, backflip out a window. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it was I incredible. I solve all my problems like that. I don't understand why people are... Uh, me. Also, I want to point out, like, I assume... <laughs> 
right? Uh-huh. All medieval high fantasy things don't have glass in them. They, like a rich place just would empty. have. Yeah, I just assumed they were empty, maybe shutters. So hence my confusion at glass, but uh-huh. absolutely mistaken. It. it reminded me of when we tried to rescue Uriah, and I was like, I'll go and unlock the the collar. And you're like, well, there are guards in this room. And I was like, have they not <laughs> left? And you were like, no. And I was like, cool, I don't do that then. Because <laughs> that was the thing. I, I realized as a Fiona, I just assumed the room is how I imagine it. <laughs> as a Fiona. <laughs> As but what I love is you didn't it. ask me questions about the window. No, you didn't I knew ask exactly it. what a window is. You didn't is. ask me if there were ghosts. <laughs> just, a window is a the... hole in a wall. And yeah. until I hear it has glass in, I'm going to assume otherwise. It's it's quite fascinating to be in a house with glass windows. I, I'm surprised every morning. I've got to be honest. <laughs> anyway. Sorry. Um, meanwhile, um, Alani decided it would be a good idea to, pre- pre- to pretend to sell drugs to children. Uh, in or pretend uh, in order to genius right wave uh, in order to i guess beef with the zentarum and therefore get brought to their base it ended up working out somehow um we did not pretend reason- to sell drugs to children you didn't end up pretending to sell drugs or to even children. adults actually we didn't <laughs> have time is- that truly was to. the most evil thing i think uh alani could come up with think, yeah think of yeah, yeah. um <laughs> it's, it's- yeah. Pretty bad um, slippery slope. <laughs> now, the reason that this is all happening is because a few weeks ago, a few weeks, a few days ago, probably about a week ago at this point, uh, Merrick received a call from the former party member of this group, uh, uh, Lucy Paradox, who uh, pretended to be in distress only for you to discover that she was somehow dead and reanimated. She took a level from each of you, some of whom have recovered that level, others have not. We won't speak about it. Um, <laughs> yay, caves. <laughs> Woo! Deals yay, with caves. Yay! Yay! <laughs> um, they recruited their arch nemeses, Uriah the Heartless. Um, to uh, aid them in their in their <laughs> attempt to figure out what was going on. And the more you went on, you kind of realized that this all has to do with Rakarth, the dragon that you supposedly defeated many years ago at the end of your adventures. Who knows what's going on there? Me, I do. Um, <laughs> I specifically know what's going on. There. I've done research. <laughs> I did the homework. Yep. I did the homework. <laughs> um, and uh, now you find yourself in Tor City. Uh, Merrick's daughter's captured by Lucy Paradox, and you guys are all finally together. Let's just, I guess, jump back into things. Uh, Super. And I guess just see what happens. Yeah. So we're going to start pretty much immediately where we left off with a ring of feather fall tilly your ex and the leader of the black network zentarum depends how you see them what order you prioritize those identities that's up to you uh she descends from the mansion out of which uh, the black network black network zentarum uh keep their base of operations in tour city um and she raises a sword to you and says surrender or die that brings us now to the top of the initiative now the good news is that she did not roll super duper well on her initiative when i rolled for it uh so she is uh she rolled a 14 and she is not going first we are back up at the top of the order there are six guards around you two of whom are mages that are kind of a bit further back four of whom are just regular guards one of whom is Merrick's ex uh okay. and that's 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 separate to the guards. wait is that a separate guard as well as tilly i've got that you know if you want to roll that that's up <laughs> no, to you absolutely Merrick. not <laughs> my goodness you get around um Sarah monogamist my god uh no 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 uh <laughs> as far as you know you don't know any of the guards personally <laughs> But your ex is right there. Yeah, so um, we can kill him. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to go to the first up in this round, which is Alani. Oh, okay. I, I think, was I, a, I think I was a little way back following people, pretending. Yeah, so I, imagine you plan. are surrounded. <laughs> yeah. by, you're currently surrounded by four guards. Yeah, no, we all got brought to, to the house to because we were you're going to You're kind of all in, in one. Yeah. Very oh, convenient. we did that bit already. Yes, we're next. Oh, I, great, yeah, great, I great, great. Cover. Yeah, you're yes, all in okay, one great. very convenient uh, block. Yeah. Okay. Right. Like space. 
I am going to uh, um, draw my sword. Mm -hmm. I've already got my shield. I'm going to say, do you know who we are? Jesus. And I'm going to... <laughs> and I'm going to... What I would like to do is I'd like to sort of swipe around with my sword, mm -hmm. waving it sort of at them so that everyone has to sort of take a step back away from us so that we're now in like a little... So that they're not like right up against us because they're like, oh, sword. I imagine. <laughs> okay, sword. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say roll me uh, an intimidation yeah. check on these guards oh, to see if you great. can oh, if you can great. get them to take a step back because that's I think nice. that was quite good. Nice, yeah, thank you. That that was an oh, eight though. Yeah. So oh, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> that doesn't do it. Um, Is it because they don't, in fact, know who we are? Uh, no. I can explain more. Um, roll me an insight check. If they don't step back, does that mean she lightly stabs some of them? <laughs> just a gentle just whoosh. The first one. Yeah. yeah. I, th I think it's more just yeah. a. Well, twelve on insight. Everywhere. Just oh no, I killed them. I just twelve on. Scare them. <laughs> I'm just slicing them up. That was twelve on your inside check. Yeah, some inside. of them. You can tell some of them recognize you, but good, a lot of good, them are good. like twenty-year-olds, like twenty-five-year-olds. Oh, so like, no. they're a bit young to really care. Uh, oh, we're not cool oh, with the like Gen Zers. No. <laughs> Zach, why are you doing this? Oh, are we millennials? <laughs> <laughs> Alpha. Sorry, you, you chose to play. To well, you chose to play a, a disbanded them, adventuring party. Like, you know, chose to play people who had retired. Present me. <laughs> I'm <laughs> young and hip. No one says hip anymore. How do you do, fellow <laughs> kids? <laughs> Hello, exactly. fellow guys. Can uh, we buy some drugs? <laughs> fellow Zentarum, would you, would you like to buy? Gen Zentarum. Gen Zentarum. Gen Zentarum. <laughs> Gen Zentarum. Uh, uh, Anyway. If you're okay, Shamini, I'm going to rule that that yes. was your bonus action. Oh, Zach, you're a softy. Fine. You're a softy, Zach. Not, you're not. You're great. You're fine. You're. Don't, yeah. Would you um, like me to change the ruling? No, no. I, I was. That was supposed to be appreciative, not critical. Um, in which case, I will say. Uh, I will. I will look at the very young people, um, who clearly didn't know who we are, and say. How old are you? And then stab one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and then stab one and then of them. Stab yes. One of them. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, we're doing it. You <laughs> make three attacks, and I'm gonna. I asked you That's this last true. episode. I know because I did the homework. Um, are you spreading your attacks out across multiple people, or is it on one person? Multiple young. Multiple people, people and I don't really want to kill them. I just want to down them. Got it. Is that okay. Your homework, young... Learning Sharmini's character sheet to make sure she uses her abilities, like three attacks. <laughs> no, she did do that oh, last time. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, so. Okay, roll me the attacks, okay. please. First attack is a 22. Yes, that's going to hit. Second attack is a 15. Uh, that misses. And third attack is a 27. Uh, yeah, that hits. <laughs> so that's child. two lots of damage. So that is eight plus... 10, 18. That's 8 and 10 spread across two. Oh, sorry, 8 and 10, sorry, separately. Sorry. Got it. Uh, incredible. Thank you very much. Uh, again, I'm going to be honest, no one looks that damaged right now. Just to get, put you into perspective of where everyone's at, okay? Like, they're taking these hits. I do not do a lot of damage. It's fine. I wouldn't say that is what I would say about your damage dealing. Um, <laughs> is that your turn? Yeah, thank you. We're gonna go to Arya slash Zutash. Okay. Merrick, what are we doing? And there's like energy just appearing in her hand. <laughs> uh, it's just, just, let's just get out of here. Let's just get out of here. It's it's messy, it's terrible. I'll explain on the way. Killing on the, re on the way? Uh, um. If you hesitate, I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Um, uh, I'll do three on three on the... How many magicians? You said there were three mages. Two mages. Two mages. I'll do two on one mage and one on... In fact, no, I'll do all... Well, I'll do two, and then the other one can maybe go to the same one, or it can maybe go somewhere else. Um, they are both going to cast Shield, just so you know, as a reaction. 
Uh, 24 is the first one. That still hits even with 25 shield. 25 is the second one. And that 22 also still hits with is shield. the final one. Uh, there's only two mages, so you're also hitting a guard. Is that right? Uh, no, I'll probably double up on one double mage. Up. Yeah. Got it. There's one that's already been hit. Would you like to double up on that one or the other one? Uh, the one that's already been hit, please. Got so it. So 22 doesn't hit. Is that right? 22 does hit. So I got three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. got three. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Okay, first one does 12 points of damage. Got it. Second one does 11 points of damage. They're down. Yep. And the third one goes to the other mage and does eight points of damage. Got it. Uh, you nice. down one of the mages who just, uh, how does it, what does it look like? Uh, I think um, she's full Zutash, so it's like this black, like, swirl that, like, corkscrews towards them and, like, penetrates into their chest. Oof, and oof. Uh, just, like, drags it down to the floor. Oh, and I get temporary oh. hit points. Hooray! Oh, and then as, as it fills the floor, a little bit of the black smoke comes back and she just sort of breathes in and it goes, like, up through her nose. And uh, she takes, how much is it? Where is it? It's on here somewhere. Such things. Where is it gone? I know I have this. I'll find it. Great. Okay. As, I will say, nice. as that happens, as Uriah's reaction, you would watch as the soul keep hanging by Zutash's side, the copper skull just <gasps> opens, no. and you just <laughs> see from this fallen maid just this soul just hey, hey. Oh. from it and <laughs> silently <laughs> screaming as it moves through the air like a wisp of smoke, and then. <sighs> Like water down a plug hole, just and the skull just. You're right. You're making again. me look worse than I am if you do that. <laughs> Man, Zutash is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Um, we're going to go now to Uriah. Uriah, looking at the relative youth of the guards around, just looks the Larian. Don't give them drugs! And is just going to <laughs> run for cover and try and jump through the nearest window and just boom! Ah, ah, double glazing! <laughs> um, and is just going to like looking around. Is there like a small as he picks himself up off the floor, is there a small um like clumped group of them? Yes. Uh oh, well, here's the thing. Mm. Your friends are in the center. That's there are four uh guards around either side like let's say north south to either side of where they are then there were two mages either side of that a little bit further out uh and then ahead of that is where tilly is so where there is no clump that wouldn't realistically include one of hot they are my nemesis yes <laughs> nemesis <laughs> Nah, I'm not gonna do that. That would suck for them. Um, what am I gonna do? Uh, boom, boom, boom. Let's see. Man, all of my things are area effect. Give me a sec. Um, ooh, I know. Um, uh, can Tilly make a mm. constitution saving yeah. throw for me, please? Of course she can, yes. Constitution saving throw uh, is yes okay. Uh, that's a seventeen. That just failed as uh, Uriah casts blindness on her, and uh, suddenly she is just unable to see and ha winning and just ducks behind a nearby <laughs> barrel. Uh, Unfortunately, oh no, she has blind sight. Even if you are blinded oh, or in darkness, what? she can, she can see. Holy fuck! She's so Who's badass. Tilly? <laughs> Why isn't Tilly as our friend? <laughs> you, what does it look like as this, uh, as this kind of happens to her? There is this black energy that sort of flies through the air from Uriah's fingers, almost like a bat, as it just lands upon Tilly's face and wraps its wings around either side of the skull and just kind of descends in as Uriah looks to the others and, huh, don't even worry about it. 
And you see that even through that, she is somehow, like, she is so attuned to fighting and so familiar with her surroundings and also, to some extent, has some magical effects that have been put on her that she, this almost is entirely negated. I'm so sorry. But also, we're playing Dungeons and Dragons, so fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uriah thinks he's done it. He's yeah. like, he's feeling pretty damn smug about himself right now. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Um, okay. We are going to now go... Is that the end of your turn? It is, but it is now my undead's turn. Yes. As the skeleton Sam Langford uh, is going to look forward. And just looking at uh, the uh, presumably blinded Tilly just goes, Well, you got one of them, so any, meeny, meeny, moo. One, two, three. Um, and is going to uh, make three attacks uh, as he casts Grave Bolt. Um, and uh, he just like just plucks off three ribs from his rib cage and just. <gasps> and Sam Lane. And, and, and he's just going to throw those. Uh, so that will be. Yes. Um, a, uh, one of the mages, that will be 13. 13 uh oh mm. no sorry i tell like 18 sorry yes that hits okay and the third one uh is an 11 uh no that's going to miss okay and uh, another one of the guards uh that will be uh 21 uh that will hit so that's a hit on one hit on a mage one hit on a guard uh lovely okay so that is uh on the first one uh, that is what I didn't uh, drop my dice. Uh, that is uh, seven plus. So that's 13 on the mage. And then on the guard, that is uh, 11 plus uh, 17. Jeez. The um, these strike true. You don't down anyone, but it's quite brutal. What does it look like as these things embed themselves? quite nonchalant um sam just like and just as you just see these bones just pierce metal and flesh and cloth sam just looks towards uriah and uriah just gives him like a little sort of bony thumbs up and like good going pal and uh is gonna duck behind the barrel once more i love it um incredible we're going to now go over to tilly who is going to back up as much as she can uh, but he's going to send out two, two ranged attacks as she pulls out poisoned blades from her waist. And she's going to aim both of them at Merrick. Yeah. No. Sounds no. good. That is a 21 to hit. Yeah. <laughs> right? And uh, th that is a 24 Can to I hit. impose disadvantage on one of those hits? Yeah. I I'll... presume you're still next to me, Merrick, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. in a little... Yeah. We're in a little meet together, back to back. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Unfortunately, Great. it has only become a 23 to hit. That, that still hits. Damn uh, it, Tilly! Would... So, I'll, I'll use... two hits. Okay, I will use one of my reaction to do... Oh, oh. Party! <laughs> I gotta turn that off. <laughs> Hooray for Tilly. Um, I'm going to use my reaction of Uncanny Dodge to halve one of the damages. So, as I see the one coming towards me, I sort of try and duck a little bit behind uh, Alani and come up the other side and get the other dagger in the shuttle so I don't miss it entirely so I still get some damage. Got it. Okay, so uh let me t I'll do one one at a time. Yep. So you've got 6 points of piercing damage from the first one cool. and then 10 points of poison damage. Oh, ow. Okay. That that's And that. then you've got 5 points of piercing damage and yep. 2 points of poison damage. Cool. Just so you guys know. Oh, I I'm can on, see it. I'm on one hit point. <gasps> oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, we have to get you out of there. <laughs> Great. Someone Great. take us um, spell spellcasters. <laughs> I will get her away. And then she is going to end her turn. And we are going to go to Merrick. Right. Look, I'm tired. 
Uh, <laughs> is anyone this? I, 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 I feel, yeah, I get, I feel that, and I feel like I'm on my last legs, and I sort of look around, and I can see everyone is trying to fight, and there's a moment in me where I, I feel like I need to stand, and I feel like Alani back to back with me. I see uh, Zutash uh, casting the Eldritch spells just going everywhere. I see Uriah peeking from behind a bush, thumbs up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And just old habits die hard, and I and I just shout to Tilly, um, I I don't want the job. I consider it rejected, and I'm gonna action. Uh, so bonus action, disengage, action, run, and movement double. And move I I will just say right now, yep. no one has attacked. I don't think you need to. Oh, you do need to disengage because yeah. you're no, there, there, there. Yeah, no, yeah. No, I gotta get out of right, there. Yeah. So I'm just gonna bolt out of it. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm gonna just yeah, no, go. run and flee. <laughs> okay. You oh well, I, I I only moved thirty feet of movement because I am tired. So I'm like, yeah, bye. Only thirty okay. feet. Just <laughs> thinking. I think you reasonably get out of the uh, range of the melee of it. Yeah. The melee. Um. Yeah. What what Tilly will immediately do is like as you're running, just yell, "Go after her!" Yeah. Um. Cool, cool. And 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 actually, is that the end of your turn? Uh. Yeah. I. Yeah, disengaged, and then bonus action to dash to get to my full movement, because I'm tired, so yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Ooh. with their full movement... 30 feet. Yeah, 30 feet, no, yeah. Just... 3, uh, 30. The two of the guards do break off. Yep. And are going to attempt to grapple you, uh, <sighs> which I believe I need an unarmed strike, is that right? Correct, yeah. Me remembering. Uh, okay, that oh, is what? going to be a 13... Just misses. I've got 14 okay. armor class. One of them misses. And that is a 15. I'm going to use my last point of luck for you to re-roll that. Okay. <laughs> so that is a 12. Yeah! Ah, okay. Run, Merrick, oh, okay. run! <laughs> uh, incredible. Uh, so that bypasses two of the guards' turns. Yep. The other two are going to use their... Uh, they are going to uh, call out just a go, and they are going to dash not towards you, but away from you, away from where they are, as they forfeit their turns to move away, uh, getting sixty feet out of range. As the final standing mage is going to cast fireball on Zutash and Alani. Um, <laughs> So I need a You're dexterity right, right. saving throw uh, from you, please. <laughs> no. Oh, I got 20. Not natural. 20 not natural. Now I'm trying to find the saving. What is the save? I, I, I got a nine, so I think probably a dexterity. Probably fine. Fail. Uh, no, but it'll be intelligence for their for their DC is, yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Um, yeah, okay. So the DC 16, what was that? Nine. What was that from Zutash? 20. 20. So you're clear of it, but you're still going to catch... Um, much, right? yeah. Yes, you're still going to cast uh, catch... Um, oh my god. Okay, you're still going to catch um, 8d6 of damage. That's fine. That's fine. Come and Alani's on, taking a full 8d6. Yep. I've got loads of that is going to be yeah. 35 yeah. points of damage for, uh, for Alani and that uh, so half that please Zutash do, as I never the... remember do you round up or down round up so 18 yes okay. uh, uh yeah the fireball goes off um and you're struck um that is going to be the end of that round, and Alani, you are next. Oh, now I'm angry. Um, right, there, and we're still like, so three of them left to go after Merrick. Uh, <laughs> yes, no, two of them left, two, two of, of them, them fled that uh, yeah. away basically to clear out of the blast radius. So, yeah. I have to say something because I'm going to use him next turn. Um, Scally will have Scally! been in the fireball. Scally will have beaten it. Um, well, he'll have been in it. Um, and I it, don't think yep. he can't survive even with uh, that amount of half. Yeah. Well, points. unfortunately, so, yeah. uh, Lorgoth the Skin Scolder. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, he is unfortunately incinerated. Oh, no. Oh, wait, he might be, he might be, like, immune to... No, he's not. Okay. Uh, okay. He has advantage. It doesn't make any difference. I was like, he's a I'm fire. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I can bring I'm him sorry. back. It's, he's, a, he's a familiar. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> he's a spell. And Zutash goes, oh, I'll have to do a spell to get you back. Damn it. Uh, oh. Whereas Arya inside is going, no! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Right. How many people, if I leave this area, will I get an opportunity attack from then? None. They all None, because uh, they left oh. because of the fireball. In fact, two. The, all of them didn't. I didn't roll to disengage with you. Oh no. Um, oh. Or me. I'll let you take an opportunity attack on yeah. one of them. Come on, please. May I too? Yeah. I've got. You may both. You may both do that. I got a seventeen to hit. You got a seventeen to hit. That is going to hit. Yes. I got one. Uh, 113 and 227s on the three Eldritch Blasts that are my one action as a Warp Gasp. 113 and 227s, two hits. Uh, I did six, 10 points of damage to someone. Excellent. I did 18 points of damage to someone. 18 points of damage. Um, well, one of them looks really fucked up when they ran away, but they're not dead. Um, okay. Alani, sorry, back at your turn, you would not receive any uh, yeah, great. Opportunity I can move. attacks. Yes. In that case, I'm going to go after Merrick and um, uh, attack. Attack the two guards. Three of the oh yeah, two of the people with three hits who are there. Uh, great, incredible. Do it for me. Would you like the one that was damaged by uh, Zutash uh, to take two hits? Yes. Or one Let's hit. Let's do that. Do one Two hit hits. on him first. Do one hit on him first. <laughs> I'll do I'll do a hit each first and then I'll see how they look, like, okay? Got it. Should have the final one. Right, yeah, exactly. Right. The first one was a 22 to hit. That hits. And the second one was a 12 to hit. That does so, not. Okay, so that first one did 9 points of damage. He's down. Oh. oh down. I haven't revealed their gender. Oh, okay. <laughs> we can kill uh, some men. That's fine. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and then I will uh, go to the other one and I'll say, you're next. And then I'll stab them. Um, with the 24 to <laughs> it. And just give them some warning. I... <laughs> so they know the that bad... they're next. Alani has become the bad guy. This is the 24 Alani does Alani. hit. <laughs> Why am I the bad? They were next. Now. It's just oh, the way you're like, the wrong you're thing. next. <laughs> you're hunting down uh, children. They were next. Um, yeah. I've messed this up. Okay, stop it, stop it. Go away, go away. Okay, right. Uh, and that damage is nine points of damage again. Excellent. Uh, this is the least, this was the least damaged person on the field that you just hit, but you have hit them. So Are they, they, are they one of the young looking ones? Uh, must be 22. <laughs> I am, I'm, I'm just going to yell... We are mighty heroes. Just <laughs> you, we're you, hot. Can you roll me an insight check? God damn it! Do I want to? Thirteen. Yeah, unfortunately, you do. I was hoping you'd fail so I could save you from this, but you, you see the look on this person's face, like the look that a young person gives an old person who's trying to be. With it, oh, no. you do deserve mighty that. heroes. <laughs> it's so oh, it's still There's psychological hot. damage happening. We're, We're still, still yeah. hot. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Okay, incredible. That was a great turn from you, Alani. Is there anything else? No, that's all. Thank you. Okay, great. We're gonna go over to Zutash now. So there's Mage still here, Tilly, and Uriah hiding behind a barrel. Correct. Can I get to Uriah and have the other two within 10 feet of me? Can you get to Uriah and have... I would say you can have uh, Tilly, but you can't have the mage. Mm, I don't want the mage. I want to kill the mage. Um, tell me if I can do this, and it's fine. If not, I'll just do something else. If Can I get to Uriah and or like tell Uriah to come to me? And hold my action of a sp just one spell. I can, can't I? Yeah, that, I can. Yeah, I think one you, spell. I, that, that's how held yeah. actions works. If you declare what you're yeah. doing, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you um, hold it until I will. So uh, Zutash will move towards the mage. So th I've got mm -hmm. thirty feet of movement. So I've got. So I'm within ten feet of the mage, mm -hmm. and then be like, Uriah, get over here now, um, and I will hold Thunderstep. Um, 
Uriah is next in the initiative, luckily. So, Uriah, you hear this. It's your turn. What do you do? Man, you're so obsessed with me. And he's just going to, like, pick <sighs> up his skirts and just, like, <laughs> like just run across and... Um, like, reach out my hand. <laughs> uh, and Uriah is going to reach out and is going to trip. And as he grabs a hold of your hand, uh, to study himself, he, he doesn't fall. Um... I'd like to make a sleight of hand. Jeff. No, no, yes! no. Yes, yes, <laughs> no. yes, yes. We're going to do a roll off here. <laughs> yes. And yes. and because you're holding an action, yeah. I want you to do it at disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're going to we're going to do Hey, that's a podcast. Um, <laughs> perception. Perception, perception versus sleight of hand. Come on, Ed. Ooh. We got 21. <gasps> if I'd not made this advantage, I'd have beaten it. <laughs> you successfully grab a hold of your soul keep. As just he slips it back in and, ooh, ooh, ooh butter toes. And then, all right, you go, what do you do? Boom. <laughs> um, and then I will thunderstep us 90 feet away. Um, if they don't counterspell wow. it. Yeah, I think we're going to try and do a counterspell here because that's big um they have yeah they do have a, a slot left we're gonna counter spell here i'm gonna counter spell the counter spell with my ring that oh, stores one fuck. spell. yes okay <laughs> so that's a fifth level okay. counter spell on whatever the oh they're is. only they were only gonna cast it at third so so that i think that, that i think that means it auto yeah it cancels it, goes. Yeah. so you automatically cancel my counter spell yeah so, um and then boom thunder step and that is five. They uh, they make a constitution saving throw, anything within 10 feet. Okay. Um, and they take half. What is the DC? Sorry. Uh, the DC is 18. 18 for, uh, yep, got it. Uh, okay. Constitution, did you say? Yes. Got it. Uh, that is a failure from Tilly, who is going to use one of her legendary resistances and is going to resist. The mage is going to do theirs and is going to roll a five failure. Uh, mage takes 30, Tilly takes 15 damage. Got it. And oh. then I will put us 90 feet as far down the street so in front of you... everyone as I can. How I'm much killing... damage to the mage, sorry? 30. 30. The three zero. zero. You also see as yeah. <laughs> just to one oh, side, no. as Sam, <laughs> Sam Line so just go, Oh no, I'm dead again. Ah. <laughs> I'm just like... Um, and oh, if, I, if I took that... two people down, like, do, I take, do I take the skeleton down? Yes. Great. Yeah, 19 you, get hit more, points. you get more hit points back. <laughs> yeah. Um, Uriah, you watch as another soul is sucked into your soul keep. And at that moment, I'm going to ask for a perception check. Oh, no, no, no. So uh, that was my reaction. So that was a specific spell that I cast. So No, it... no, no, no. Because the mage died. The mage is mine. Yep. Yes, but... but when the mage died last oh, time, it mage. sucked into the soul keep. But that was a oh. spell that I cast. Oh, a I see. Yeah, so, uh, so I cast oh, so I soul see. Uh, yeah. I yeah, see. Yeah, Ooh. Close. Um, I do get, if the mage dies as well, I do get another clever. 19 points of temporary hit points. So Zutash is looking beefy. <laughs> um, Man, you're swole. Okay. Um, we are going to now go to, it's Tilly's turn. Tilly is, you are 90 feet away. You're out of there for all intents and purposes. Um... I think she's going to dash to try and head to Merrick. She can only go 60 feet. I don't think she can get to you. I, I can only move up to 30 feet, even with dashing. So I think she will, because she was quite close. Actually, to you're right. She can. Yeah. I think with 60, she can. Do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, we're going to have to go back. <laughs> I'm, really cons I'm really trying to think very hard about what she is going to do because i don't know alani is there isn't she 
I'm there, uh, but yeah. all I can do is impose disadvantage. Just do it. Go for if it. She goes for her. I just don't know that she wants to. Yeah. I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll a charisma saving throw for her. That's a 16. As she kind of runs up, she kind of sees some of her guards dead on the ground. She sees you bloodied, beaten, and bruised, and she looks at you and says, I don't want to kill you. If you come with me, I can take you to your daughter. Get them to surrender. I think at this point, she's Merrick sort of takes everything around her, like people dead on the floor. She feels it, like she feels the poison. Sure. And I just, I, I see Alani sort of like whirling around, ready to sort of like get in the way, and I just put a mm -hmm. hand on her shoulder and I go, no, sorry. I... Enough running. <sighs> sorry. And I just hold up my hands. You all from the other side of the battlefield see this surrender happening. I'm going to pull us out of initiative momentarily, but I want to give you a moment to react to this before I formally pull the plug. Merrick? Merrick, we can take them. No, it's been enough. Just, just trust me. Uh, but they're the baddies, right? They're baddies. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, no, they're not. Um, Pfft. Uriah. It's what? not the, the, It's I, not I, a competition, Uriah. I, I will whisper so that Tilly can hear me. Like, just, just treat them kindly. Just put them in a room and just, just. I just don't want to be with them. Fine. Sometimes. Fine. I can do that. Thank you. Do you concede? And do you concede? I don't know what that word means. It means give up, Uriah. Oh, shit. Yeah, no. Um, I don't know. We came, we came to get you, Merrick. What was the point of us coming to get you? Didn't ask for you to come and get me. Oh, yeah, good point. We, uh... I looked desperately around for Arya. He's not here. Afraid. <laughs> I know. Say um, something encouraging, someone. Hey, hey, Zutash. Mm. Arya's friends are kind of fucked at the moment. Yeah, um, we could just I, go. Yeah, no, I'm not going with you anywhere. But I'm thinking <laughs> that, like, I don't know, maybe... I know, like, you've hung around for, like, a reason, right? Because, you know, they're goody-two-shoes, but, like, they work together, right? And they give you what you want, and uh, you should probably, you know, bring out the old, you know, pep talker. I know she's bleh, super positive all the time, but, Oh, you know, God, this is an Aria thing, isn't it? Okay. It is an Aria thing, yes! I just would like it said for the record before I go that I'm up for killing them all. And we'll just sort of glare at all the guards as then Arya just snaps back in. <laughs> just Wait. before that happens, Zutash just hears a, I knew I was a better villain than you, as you just... <gasps> <laughs> wow, why is she so mad? Um, it, I just get like a twinge of the... Emo oh, what's happening? Hi. Oh, Merrick? You're going to surrender. Right. Just and if you says. surrender, I'll take your friend to her daughter. Merrick, is that what you want? Yes. Okay, yes. we surrender. Is that like a thing that we can all do? Because I've not met the young Sprog yet. 
Me either. All of you are wanted. This feels bad. Typically doesn't when I'm around. Barrett could tell you. And the go and she turns heel and walks away. And <laughs> the two guards uh, lift you, Merrick, or one guard lifts you, Merrick, and starts to move you back towards the mansion. I, I actually, I try not to, like, I want to walk on my own if I can, but I assume... They'll let you walk on your own. They're not going yeah. to drag you, but this person is not going to yeah. let go of you sure. in case you make a run for it. That's... And considering past experiences of the last five minutes, I totally understand why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you see as uh, out of the front door of the mansion to like like a throng more guards start to come out weapons drawn waiting expectantly for you to surrender yourselves i'm gonna look at aria and i'm gonna say um I, I, is surrendering the right thing for the team it's what merrick wants so then she might not be mad at us any anymore. At, at me. At, at me. I don't think that'll do it, actually. Come on. Oh. Right, okay. Uriah, you're I'll coming too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I know. This is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Um, no, sorry. No, no. Sorry, sorry. did I interrupt? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, each of you are escorted by a grouping of guards through the mansion and down into the cellars come dungeon. You... <laughs> Did you really just do that? Dungeons because of the word dungeon? dungeon? Dungeons. Did you really and just... Dragon. We're playing Dungeons and Dungeons and Dungeons! Well, at the moment, <laughs> it's Dungeon and Dragon. We haven't quite Dungeon and Dragon! Okay, well... I'm still excited. Chat, so let I converted if... into a dungeon. Chat, <laughs> let me know if you're as excited as Shamani about, <laughs> about dungeons. Um, hey, where's Scally? Oh. It, uh, Uriah, this seems like a you thing. Well, I've never been in a cellar cum dungeon before. Um, so <laughs> I'm just taking this all in. But um, what was... I really made a mistake. I really made an error. I I'm sorry. Uh what? chat, I'm sorry, the stream is actually over. Um <laughs> right, we're going to break now. Goodbye. <laughs> As he's sort of like looking around at the walls and uh just looks back at you, Alani, just What do you, what do you mean? It's a me thing. Telling people horrible news and making them sad. Oh, I do like that. Right. Um. Uriah, what happened? Well, Skelly is um. Skelly um. Come on, Uriah. Is he? Skelly. Skelly. Uh, yeah. No, I, I, I know the guy. He talked to me before he went. You see, he um. See, like, he thought that um. Cause there's like a dragon out there. Um, okay. He thought he can, like, blend in, you know? Be our guy on the inside. He right. flew off to, like, a dragon farm. And oh, he's gonna be a, great. He, a dragon farm? Dragon farm, yeah. No, he'll he'll be back in no time. I, Uriah. Yes. Uh, Aria. Did Skelly die? No. Uh, not, like... And I know. I know all about death. Look at me. I'm basically falling apart. No, no, no. He's... He, he flew away. I know he... Pain in my ass, and he's gonna yeah. come back. I know it. Because I can detect him if he's on this plane of existence. And yeah, he, well, Rakarth. So. Rakarth's hiding away. When when Rakarth comes, then so too will. Um, I so. cannot let this dishonesty stand. No, 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 no! You shut the fuck up, Lani. Um, I, I Look, need what? Can what someone of, what just tell me the truth? The truth is that that Scally was incinerated. By a fireball cast by a mage. I'm so sorry. Right. 
I No, that's fine. It's fine. He's he's a spell, so he can come back. I can get I can get him back. It's just this was Scally number nineteen and he'd been around for like quite a while and um uh, he had like a different way of flying to the others. It's fine, it's fine. Everyone leaves, so it's fine. No one stays, do they? Ever. So well, it's fine. Hey. Let's just sit in this dungeon. No, no, no. Uh, Ari, I've I've stayed around. I, I've I've hated your guts for decades now. And I've never gone anywhere. I'm always peeking around corners, casting spells at all of you, because I really genuinely hate you all. That's gotta count for something, right? It's the nicest thing anyone said to me in a really long time. I'm really sorry for that. Okay. Um. I'm gonna, um, like, write down some of my favorite memories of Scally 19. I'll, um. Good. Um, while you, okay. you do that, I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go torment a guard real quick um and is there a guard nearby oh yes you you uh, after uh, merrick has been taken to, as requested to a separate part of the dungeon um there is a throng of guards so uh, mages and and regular guards all keeping close watch hey hey you hey you yeah short oh. stuff you there hey you I'm a dwarf, you can't say that. Oh, shit, sorry. It's just, like, I've never seen a dwarf without a beard before, and, like, you're young, It's right? genetic, I can't help it. Sorry, um, look, um, <laughs> I gotta ask you something, like, on the down low, okay? Um, I need you to, like, go back upstairs. You know, and I know we killed a bunch of your friends, but where that all happened, I need you to get, like, a dustpan and brush, and I need you to, like, Scour the air a little bit, and I need you to bring that shit to me, okay? Oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, I killed my friend. You killed my boyfriend. Well, and I'm really sorry. And tell me, did your boyfriend get incinerated or did he get um, impacted by a rib? <laughs> What's your armor class? My armor class? <laughs> no, no, shit. Not good. <laughs> um, It's A. Give me a sec. I'm scrolling. 11. <laughs> With a 13, he punches you in the face Ooh. for six Ooh. points of damage. Oh my ah, god. Son of a gun. Ooh, yeah, that's you smart. You fuck off. I'm, I'm a normal height and I have a beard's normal and you give my fuck off. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry, but tell me. Tell me, do you have a name? Yeah, Benji. Benji, right. Great. Lovely name. Benji. Have you ever... Are you a pet guy? I'm a dwarf. Yeah. I'm a man. Yeah. It's no... I'm not a pet. I, I... I didn't think this would be this difficult. Have you ever... Have you ever owned... Have you ever owned an animal, Benji? Oh, oh, oh yeah. I've got a cat. You've got a cat? Tell me, what is... What is your lovely cat's little name? Whiskers. Whiskers, yeah, great. Love that, Benji. Um, tell me, have you ever been worried about Whiskers? Yeah. And if something happened to Whiskers, you'd be sad, right? Yeah, Lord, I'm sad about my boyfriend dying. Yeah, yeah, no, that too. But, like, pets are great, though, right? Yeah, I guess you'll be the only thing that keeps me... Keeps me company at night, Tom, now. Yeah, yeah, th that's too bad, man. Um, but at the moment, um, it's like, uh, you see that, like, adorable little bundle of hope over there? You see how that is dwindling, like, like a candle in the wind? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's sad that you had to say things like that. Well, yeah, but, like, Arya, Arya's her name. You know, like like a piece of music. And yeah. at the moment, like her melody is dwindling. I'm actually in the Zentorum choir. Oh, yeah, great. Like, you meet weekly? Every, it's bi-weekly. Nice. And what, what's like your general range? Are you like a baritone? You strike me as kind of like bassy. 
I, oh, I've been try, I've been trying to go for the double bass, yeah. Oh, have you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, good luck Spending with that. Expanding my range. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, man, we should. After this, we should do more, man. This is. This oh, is I'd rather not actually. I've yeah, had, no I've fair had enough. enough trauma. I killed your boyfriend. Look, what I'm saying yeah. is. Arya doesn't have a boyfriend who recently deceased, and she doesn't have a pet either. But I, I can give her one of those back. You see, so if if you go back upstairs and you 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 sweep up a little dustpan and brush, and you bring that down here, and I can do something really um really. Re you gonna you gonna spit out, man? Come on, nice. Oh, you really. Have you considered have you considered talking to a therapist about all this? I had a therapist once and I killed him. Right, you see that that's counterproductive, right? No, it was a real eureka moment. I realized I loved killing <laughs> so much. Um I I'm I cuz I've enjoyed this interaction so much. I'm going to let you roll a persuasion check Let's at go. advantage. Oh, Come on. I love Hell Benji. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> In his choir. Okay, okay. I got a 19, then I got a natural 20. Yes! Oh! That's <laughs> incredible. You see that, like, his heart has softened, and Benji just kind of looks up at, like, all right, oh, I'll, I'll tell you what, I've, you've, you lot have got to go upstairs for questioning. Oh yeah, no, I'm sure we'll be tortured like shit. But when, like when you, you bring... come, when you come back, I'll, yeah. I'll give you the little ball. I'll get. I promise. All right. Nice, Benji. Are, are we allowed contact, despite the fact that like I'm kind I'm of not your really a hugging guy. Wait, hang on. Let me hang on. And reaching into his soul keep, uh. He is going to just looking at it for a moment and I could really use this to channel some of my power. Hey, Benji. Yeah. And he just like pops the lid and as part of the spell that I cast earlier, Soul Cage, I have several things that I can do with the soul that is trapped inside. Um... One of them is to steal life. I can drain vigor from the stone, like regain hit points. Uh, but I won't do that. I can borrow experience so I can get advantage on my next roll. Or eyes of the dead, I can like see through his eyes. Uh, but I'm not going to do that either. I like the idea that you're narrating this. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I could do so much with your boyfriend, <laughs> so it's unreal. But uh, he is going to allow Benji to ask the soul a single question and can receive a brief telepathic answer and the soul knows only what it knew in life but must answer you truthfully and to the best of your its ability i think he's just gonna say you know i loved you right roger A little tear goes down Benji's cheek. He's like, "All right, Mister Necromancer, I'll get you your, I'll get you your dust." Yeah, that's that. That's not my name, but that's okay. Um, yeah, no, that that was, that was, that was nah. Yeah, no, you go, you go, you go. All right. Bye -bye. And he, he's he's gonna walk off. That was really nice. That really. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Yeah. Man, my <laughs> tear duct shriveled up like decades ago. I'm feeling nothing right now. <laughs> um. Meanwhile, I think we're gonna go over to Merrick, who you are being kept in a room. Um. A bit like uh, the room you're in before. There is a window. There's a guard at the window now. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, there there is someone in the way. They've kind of caught wise. They've also shut the shutters. Damn so it. there's not only glass, but there's shutters. Damn it! 
You know, <laughs> just I'm just narrating all the things. No, that, no, you're that, right. You're right. You you're right. I also should ask more questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you see the door opens and um, Tilly walks in. Uh, and she's actually got a little um, kind of uh, D8 healing potion. She kind of comes in, she walks in, and is like, Merrick. You know, this could have been much simpler. I don't know why you chose to run. We could have been friends. We could have figured it all out. I don't know why you always run from me. Is it, is it me, Merrick? Is it me? No, of course it's not you. It was never you. It's... Our old habits die hard. I'm... I was... A pretty good shot. Almost took me out completely. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry. No, you're not. No, I'm not. You're right. She kind of smiles and uh, kind of slides along a, a wooden table that you're next to, slides the potion towards you and says, ah, well, you need that. I'm, uh, I don't know if you picked it up, but I've been working with your, uh, your chum. I figured. Mm. She, uh, Really brought up some painful memories. Did try to kill her the first time I saw her. Unfortunately, didn't work out so well for me. And she kind of lifts her shirt and shows, like, just this horrific scar that's healed up the side. But, uh, you know, survived worse. Oh, Tilly, I'm sorry. No, you're not. No, I'm not. Look, I... No. <sighs> Merrick, you know, a lot of history between us. I just wish, honestly, after it all, I just wish you'd be honest with me. If you were just honest with me, this all would have been fine. Well... Thanks for the tip, but um, until I'm honest with myself about what's going on, it's uh, as a level two shenanigans. Hmm. <sighs> she's she coming. She's coming here for you. So get ready. Good luck. It's not me that needs it, and <laughs> she'll leave. I, I wait until the last second as the door shuts, and I down that potion so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm almost sick as a result of it, but I will absolutely drink that drink. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, you can heal up 2d8. Oh, amazing. Nice. Um, what I will say is that in the time that you all have, it is also enough for a short rest. I will Fucking yes! <laughs> do, do a short rest. That's 10. Got back. The best words. <laughs> um, oh, look at those spell slots. Hello, darlings. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How long do temporary hit points last? That's a really. I believe point. they reset on a level up, not on a, on a, on a um, long rest, maybe. Not yeah. Sorry, on a yeah. That's what I meant. On a long rest, not on a, uh, a short rest. Uh, I Sick can look it up. I don't know. I'm going to just uh, use all of my hit die in a hope to get something back. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I think that's that's probably a good idea. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> Nick yeah. just put in chat and it's really tickled me. Find someone who looks at you the way Bates looks at spell slots. <laughs> 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 that's uh, um, look, as a warlock, short rests are mwah, oh, Feel yeah. good, man. Well, unfortunately, the uh, the the rules glossary does not tell me whether or I'll not they reset. It. It's fine. It's not. Yeah. Anyway. Um. 
each of you one by one are led up to a different room in which you are going to be questioned. Um, as each of you are uh, brought into a separate room, you're met by different guards who proceed to ask you the typical questions, you know, what, what are you doing here? What were your intentions? Like, it feels like you are, you know, a common criminal being questioned by uh, members of a criminal organization. <laughs> Except for Uriah. Uriah, you walk into your room and you see waiting for you in a high back chair is Lucy. Hey. Uh, darling, Uriah. Oh shit, Lucy, hi, sorry, I like, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, what are, you, what are you doing here? You blew my cover. Darling, you all walked into the trap. You don't think the first person that I would go to for help was Merrick's criminal ex. Oh, well, yeah, I'm like, I knew that. That's why I brought them here and guided them, you know? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I did almost just say in character how is selling drugs to children. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you I'm like, that. I'm you against didn't do that. that. So I'm, I didn't say that. I'm wildly <laughs> against that, actually. I want that on the record, me and the character, actually. <laughs> uh she she gestures for a chair kind of uh as equally ornate as hers across from her for you to sit down i'll stand fine be uncomfortable well, it's up to you <sighs> well i just kind of shifts from foot to foot he is actually really uncomfortable and do you, over the course of this he just starts to like lean awkwardly against and then just kind of like slowly sliding down until eventually just <laughs> so Uriah you of course know that you're on my side yes oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. allies or like team up hmm yeah, Legion of Doom shit. The final moment of our plan comes close. Do you have like a, because I always used to like call it a denouement, because people would always ask what it was. It made me feel really clever. Do you have like, or is it just final? Never mind. You, 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 you go, you go, you go. Yes. Yeah. yeah. When the final confrontation comes, yes, when the final confrontation comes, yes, I want them to think you are their ally. Yeah, I mean, I can do that. I'm, I'm a good actor. I... I've been doing that this whole time. They believe me. Hook, line, and, you know, the other thing that you do with the fish. <laughs> and when the moment comes, you're going to help me kill them. Yeah. Well, I'm going to kill them. And, you know, you're, you know, they're my nemesis. So, but, yeah, no, they won't stand in the way of the big guy. Rakhaf. Ooh, big bad. He's the big bad. When the moment comes, Uriah, if you do not do as I say, and at this I would like you to make me a quick dexterity check. Should have left it with me. Uh, dexterity, you say? Mm -hmm. uh, that is an 18. Unfortunately, she rolled a 23. As your soul keep is unhooked from your belt and into her hey hands. oh no 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 don't 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 i thought we were allies you, do, you don't need if to tell you me. do not do as i say uriah i will smash this thing into so many grains of sand that you'd be lucky to even be a zombie 
let alone an arch mage. I will enslave you, Uriah. You want eternal life? You can have it under my heel. Death for you? <laughs> Not bad enough. She hands it back to you. Yes. Well, I suppose you'd know all about being a slave, wouldn't you? Just pops it back into his robes. Hmm. You don't know the first thing about me. You didn't even know who I was when I walked in the room. When you walked in the room. Yeah, no, you never left much of an impression on me. The others, real nemesis is actually. Yeah. And it's been really fun, like, playing with them and seeing their little nuanced kind of, like, it's good, you know? I think what you've got going on, you know, like, the whole trader thing, like, it's good, but I think we should workshop it if you want to be, like, a real villain. Like, a real effective bad guy. You know, you were... Uh, I think... What's the word I'm looking for? Agency. That's what I'm looking for. Agency and autonomy. Uriah, I have watched you stumble around like children across the countryside of this godforsaken land. I am confident in my power. Can you say the same? Yeah. Obviously. Good. Kill them when I ask. Or there will be a fate so much worse than death for you. I already said I'd do it, so yeah, okay. okay. Um, thank you for this um, meeting of equal minds. It was really fun. Good. And what of the cave? What did it offer you? The cave, yeah, no, um, well, the cave was, um, kind of a bummer. I ran into a dead end in the end, and then Arya came and caught me before I could go any further in. So, yeah, no, I, I didn't get to do my whole reflection on the soul thing. Not that I have one. God Roll forbid. me a deception check. That is a twenty-nine. She rolled. An 18. As she kind of looks up. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. No, usually when I've gone in that cave, big guy's there going, hey, you want to, but not this time. Weird. <laughs> Fine. One less thing to worry about. Yeah. And he kind of like smirks a little to himself. And as she looks up, he just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> And what of the girls? Have they any petty drama that I can exploit? I think you'll find it's women. They're all, they're a little more advanced in age now, but uh, yeah, no, they're um, like I mean, they're at each other's throats. You know, it's uh, it's kind of kind of sad, honestly. It's yes, I know. Yeah. I lived with them for how many years? Oh well, <laughs> yeah. No, I can imagine how that would get, um... Tiresome. Well... I don't know, you see people who are meant to be friends, and... You just think, why don't you just get on, you know? Like, I hate them, but... There's no reason for them to hate one another, you know? I think, anyway. Thank you, Uriah, you may go. Yeah, no, 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 good talk, good talk. Um, I'm gonna go do the whole kind of, like thing with them now but um yeah good job good job Rakal's gonna be yeah he's gonna uh, promotion I feel for you yes yeah Uriah, yeah yes. I, I'm gonna go shall, shall I um, I'll let myself out and um yes uh, can... please please you're right yeah I'll just put this chair back over here and uh yeah no um bye uh and see you for the big uh day new morn <laughs> Final encounter. Final encounter. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, bye, 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 bye. bye. <laughs>
I feel like not. I feel, I feel like I've encountered Uriah's <laughs> ultimate nemesis, which is dead air. <laughs> <laughs> Any any time she just let him go on, he just was like, "That's right." I'm just I find yeah. silence so awkward, you know. Yeah, it's like weird. Oh, uh, great, good stuff, uh, Merrick. I would like you to tell me what your passive uh, perception is. Uh, it's a twenty. Oh, good. Very high. Uh, uh, let's I have... see everything. I'm a mum, so <laughs> I know what's going on in my house. <laughs> very, very true. Um, right. With only a 15, you hear behind you the sound of a teleportation attempting to be muffled attempting to hide itself from you. But you hear it. Okay. Ooh. Um. Right, okay, this is gonna sound really weird. Do I recognize the sound of magic Oh, happening? roll me an arcana check. Super. Uh, That's cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a 12. Like, I assume like mages have like certain signature things as we talked about like this idea of like yeah. people and stuff. So I you know, like, I th I think with the twelve, I think you've you've heard this enough. Yeah, it's Lucy's magic. Yeah, I don't turn around then. <laughs> Merrick, how's it going? Oh, darling. What are you looking to get out of all this? I have your daughter, but why are you trying to stop me? Why do you care? You left. You got away from all this. But you were so easy. Like, easier than I thought you'd be. I'm a bit disappointed, actually. I thought the great Merrick would be less easy, less simple to manipulate. It's quite plain, really. Quite simple. You gave yourself weakness as well. You had a family. Did you think you could just leave? I get up and I turn around and I face her. You alright? right I am weak I run away I always run away I couldn't take it anymore because I assumed you didn't love me you never said it so I ran you thought I didn't love you you didn't love me. Of course I did. It's always you and Alani and, and... And every... You thought I didn't love... You can see she, she kind of pulls herself back for a second. Realizing she's kind of let it get to her a little bit there. I... I and you're right. I made so many mistakes, and I'd hoped that changing life, changing it, would be better, and I was wrong. I made a mistake. I grow weak. I, you know... Look, I if you, you didn't just, if you didn't make the deal, if you didn't, no. you all knew, you all knew, and I was just left out of it. Yeah. Look, I, I don't know what's going on. I, all I ask is whatever you want with me with the rest of Hot. Fine, just let Rosalind go. 
I don't care. Rosalind, I don't care about your shitty little daughter. God, she right. takes after you. I want some acknowledgement sure. okay. Okay. for the years that I put into this. And you all betrayed me. No, no, I'll step towards her. You did. You gave him what he wanted. And now he has me. Isn't that nice? I'm sorry. No, you're not. I am, and I will go closer to her to be within like a couple mm -hmm. feet. Mm -hmm. Look, and I'll go and put my hand towards her face. Mm -hmm. God, you're so beautiful. I just can't believe I'm such an idiot that I didn't see it before. Maybe we can we can get out of here. We you and me we can leave. Roll me a persuasion check here. Okay. I'm almost tempted to give it to you at advantage. Mm -hmm. well, but I won't. A, yeah, it's still gonna be at disadvantage because I'm tired. So. Mm. <sighs> okay. I'm just trying to think about reliable talent, though. I just want to check this before I say anything out loud. But am I proficient in persuasion? I am. So it would be 17 with the disadvantage, because of reliable talent. With a 16, you succeed. Good. As she kind of looks for a moment, taken aback by what you've just said, just... Almost like as if she hasn't hadn't expected it, and she's like, "All right, but but R Rakath will Rakath will kill me. Yeah. He will kill you. He'll kill all of us if 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 I'm if if I." And you see, she starts panicking. I yeah, I'll I'll grab her, like hold her. We couldn't defeat him the first time. No. We had to make a deal. I'm gonna go in. Mm hmm. And kiss. Mm hmm. And I would like to mm -hmm. slide the pan because I've got the bottle in my other mm -hmm. hand. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, stab up, like, the sharpened end of the bottle to try and break the glyph, the thing inside her to try and. Oh! It. Oh! It won't do much, but that's all I've got. Okay. Yeah. I want the sleight of hand check here. This is going to be an astronomical DC. You're telling me? <laughs> um, and I want... wire help. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yes, uh, Arya would like to give the help action uh, from a different room. <laughs> no, like, but wait, because I romance happening. <laughs> because of the position you've been able to get yourself into, yep. I will give you advantage to do this flat. Give me sleight of hand. Okay. It's huge. Okay, it's under 10, but I have advantage. It's, uh, I have plus 10. 18. Did you get any luck points back on a short rest? Uh, no, on a short rest. <laughs> 18. On an 18, you jam this in and you feel it lift. You feel it lift out of a cavity in her chest and you. <gasps> As you see, you watch as, like, the murkiness behind her eyes kind of vanishes for a second, and you see her clearly. Yeah. And she just looks at you, <laughs> and then just forces it back in, and you watch as, like, you watch as this, this kind of blue-red energy kind of ripple across her again, and she just... <sighs> shouldn't have trusted you. Well, for short. And that's a lesson I've always forgotten. 
I shouldn't trust you. But you did want to have a kiss, though, didn't you? And you see that she kind of, like, crackles this bolt of deadly energy. You are on, what, like, ten hit points? She could level you in an instant. Yeah. <laughs> but you see she distinguishes it and says, It's not time. No. That's usually my line. She, she teleports away. Elani, you are in your questioning room. And you, it's not subtle. Just in front of you <laughs> appears Lucy. You're being, you're mid-questioning with one of the Zantara members and she just cocks her head and the, the questioner just bows their head and leaves. Oh, oh my god, you're here. Oh. Hi. Oh, are you are you are you dead? Are you okay? Oh god, are you evil now? Oh god. Am I evil now? Yes, I, I are you evil now? <laughs> she genuinely laughs. Elani. <laughs> I really didn't know what I was going to say to you. I really more just wanted to see you suffer. Oh no! Oh oh yeah! Oh, that sounds that sounds pretty evil. Um. You see the world like it's some black and white good versus evil thing. It you know it's never been that, right? Well, I mean, we some... killed a lot of people who thought they were the good guys. But they weren't the good guys, otherwise we wouldn't have killed them. They weren't the good guys because you won. I won. We we won as a team because we're the heroes and that's what we do. I, Lucy, I'm finding all of this very confusing. No, I can tell that. I can really <laughs> tell you've been struggling with this one. Thank you. The thing is, I, I'm doing this because I, I'm trying to save you, well, and the world, but... You're trying to save me? Why are you trying to save me? Because you're one of my oldest friends and I care about you a lot. It didn't seem to mean much to you when uh, the crew disbanded, when you made that deal, when you hid it from me. Look, I know, I know you're cross about that, and I, I really appreciate your not saying anything, and I, I, I feel like maybe, maybe. Oh, uh, wait, I get it. You're, you know, but things aren't black and white because I have made some bad choices, and you know, I'm supposed to be a hero. Actually, I think I might be shit at it. That's what, that's what I'm coming around thinking. So, you know, I, I, I get it's that there are... It's just the fact some... that you think you are such a good fucking person. And you're not. I try, though. I, I, I try. I, I... We all try. But some of us don't go around parading the fact that we're some virtuous hero. That is better than everyone. Better than those goblins you killed. Better than those cultists who were just trying to survive. Better than all those guards who were just doing a job to feed their family. Are you... Have you changed your mind about the things that we, we did? As... You know, it was a long few years away from the group, I'm not going to lie. And in that time, yes, perhaps I did have a little reflection on the fact that maybe what we did was not always a good thing. Yes, of course, Rakath needed to be defeated. Well, unfortunately, we couldn't do that. Yes, Uriah should have been stopped from doing God knows what scheme he could think of next, but... No, I think maybe we didn't always do the best things. 
Well, I... I'm coming to maybe agree with you regarding some of my personal choices. Um, and I, I don't know what that means for for us as heroes and for for the heroes of Torafar and for protecting oh, for the, the heroes realm, of Torafar. But... It's too late for that. Too late for um, you. It's very nice that you're coming to this conclusion so late in the game. But unfortunately, we're in the end zone, darling. I would be interested to know what it might mean for for us if you are indeed still you in in in, in some way, which I'm also a little little confused about. Someone said you were a dragon at one point. I, I uh... <laughs> no, I do inherit some of the traits of my master, though. He's here, you know. You broke the seal. You might have broke one, but. <sighs> See, actually, uh, oh, yes. here is in, actually here is in, actually here. How do you think I've been able to do everything that I have? You think I have control of the Tor military on my own? No. This has been years in the making, darling. Of course he's here. Of course he's here. You think I wouldn't have been able to free myself eventually if he weren't here? It's over. You've lost. You have walked through every single step of my plan. Sure, I had to improvise along the way, but you're here in the city. And <laughs> it's about to be finished. Sorry. I don't think that's what Lucy would want. I don't think that's what my friend would want. Well, maybe you're right. But unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Do I? I am still your friend. Yes, I understand that it, some of my will might not be my own. But my feelings are real. And I don't think you ever quite appreciated that. I did beg you to reconsider. Beg you. In the cave. Yes, in those in final cave. moments. Yes. We didn't have a choice. You know we didn't have a choice. I we didn't could have, have a tried. choice. We could have tried. We could have tried and failed. I'm not doing this for me. Everyone else seems to think I'm doing all of this for me, but <laughs> I may not be perfect, but I do know that doing good isn't just doing good for yourself. I'm trying to protect this land, and I feel like if if we could free you, you would want that too. And what if the land you send him to? Hmm? I was thinking about them. I don't know, but it had to be done. You didn't it... think that when he got finished, he'd get tired? What you didn't you think finished? when he burned and raised that plane to the ground, he might wish for more? Even, even Rakath couldn't destroy an entire plane. Could he? Could he? Could he? Darling, when I... I you don't know this story. And she's going to um, enchant your mind. You can do a saving throw if you'd like to be... to avoid it, but she's... Uh, it doesn't seem to be threatening. She's trying to show you something. Okay, sure. And you watch as she shows you this plane shifting spell that she had been working on for so long she couldn't reach any of you she couldn't bring herself in some cases and she couldn't actually find some of you in others because the magic had already started to work on her you see 
But she shifted herself into the plane where Rakarth was sent. The plane that you promised everyone would be uninhabited, inhospitable. And you see what clearly was once green pastures singed. You see a tall kingdom felled. And you see an enormous corpse. You see the body of a dragon. With not one, not two, not three, not four, but five heads. Drained of its power is the body of Tiamat. Boom! Behind her and moving like an unearthly god is a dragon that looks down at her and says, uh, <laughs> Time to go home. And that's where the spell ends. So you see, you really just delayed the inevitable, darling. I don't see how um, you're at the center of all this. Out of character, Zach, do I get a sense of when... Mm -hmm. Of... Mm -hmm. So did you say she tried to contact us before working mm -hmm. on the plane shift spell? Yeah. And just couldn't reach... There, yeah, the, she... she like, let's... Like, you know, Rackarth was working his manipulation to get yeah. in her mind. Wasn't okay, always... The cracks, you know, in then, some yeah, cases, yeah, like... Yeah. You know, could have reached out to Arya, but I think some others yeah, of yeah, you yeah, might yeah, have been yeah, 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 yeah. harder to reach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Reasonably okay, okay. speaking. Yeah. Um, God, I think Alani is just, like, stunned and horrified and just staring at, at, at Lucy just entirely helplessly. He's been here for... How long has it been now? Gosh, it must have been two years. It's taken two years. It's all about you. You know that, right? He hates you. Because you defeated him. You bound him. And now he is going to humiliate you. He is going to defeat the very idea of you. In the minds and hearts of the people, he's not ghost, just going to kill you. He is going to destroy you. And and Torifa? That can come in time. He made a mistake the first time. He had no one left to subjugate. He won't make that mistake again. Uh, then there's really nothing we can do. I mean, you can try, you can fight, but you couldn't feed him the first time. Lord knows what you're going to do this time. <laughs> but try your best. Good luck. Can I try and... I, I get the sense she's about to... <laughs> the, yeah. the magic thing that magic do. Can I try and, like, grab her? Like, Of course, I, I don't think you need to roll for that. just... Yeah, you put your um, you put your arm on her. She's kind of you do see she's about to like do yeah. the spell for dimension door. Yeah. Okay. But... And can I try and f feel? I think it's visible through the clothes, isn't it? But like Arya described, that she had a a thing in her. Yeah, she's got a she's got a sigil, or she's she's got a uh, what's the word? A stone in her chest, not a sigil. That's yeah. something different. Yeah. Uh, what what about you? 
okay, we can't defeat him. What about you? Can I save you? What happens if I if I smash this thing and I'm going to like raise my fist as if I'm just going to punch it? The stone will protect itself. So, try as you will. I don't know what will happen, to be honest with you. I'm going to punch I'm going to punch it. <laughs> punch it. That's how we fix our problems, everybody. We punch, punch them. them. Punch them. That's the moral of the story. Um, I, gen- I genuinely want you to roll me initiative. Initiative? Oh, okay. Stunning. So she's going to react. Uh, oh, there no, yeah. I got a, a nat 20 for a 27. Oh, she yeah. got a na- And she got a 19. <laughs> she rolled an, a 19 to her 25. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, incredible. Yep. Yeah, um, roll me it. What do you want to do? Punch, unarmed strike, like. Sure, I'm, you're gonna Alani. need to hit her armor class. Let's go, Alani. Let's go, Alani. Oh, on, that Alani. was a sixteen. That hits. Yeah. Come on, Alani. Come on, punch it. the stone out okay. of my chest. <laughs> okay, so I have hit it. So that's. I've got. Look, happened. I'm gonna level with you. There is yeah. a damage threshold oh, here yeah. oh okay yeah that's that, yeah, okay that makes yeah. sense well i i can only i can do five points of damage on an unarmed strike just a flat five um you feel a solid thunk as you do not surpass the threshold yeah that's fair enough but make me an arcana check oh, come on come on alani i'm great at that big brain, big brain alani come 13 on. You know what? I'm going to give it to you. Rolani, that's great. That's actually really good, Rolani. I'm so smart. As you hit, this doesn't... You've you've handled indestructible things before. This does not feel like one of those things. This is soundly a destructible item. And I think this isn't your area of expertise, but the control seems to be coming from the stone. If you remove the stone, I mean, we've had some discussion of what might happen if the stone is removed, but maybe that's not all. So I'm going to leave it there. And you, it thunks into her chest and she kind of looks up at you, almost amused. Thank you for trying, Alani. And vanishes. If I had my sword, just give me my sword back. I would, I would try again. <laughs> um, Zutash. Except it's not Zutash, is it? It's Arya right now. Mm-hmm. It de- probably, yeah. 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 I, I think a similar thing happens to you. I think she wants to talk to each of you. Where this time, you know, again, there's no trickery, there's no anger. She's have a hell of an afternoon. And she kind of comes in, sits down. She doesn't even teleport in. She just comes in, dismisses the guard who is questioning you, and sits down. Arya. Hi. You know, of all of them, you actually are the one I have the least amount of anger towards, so this might be a nice way to finish the day. I think you're probably the one I have the least amount of anger towards right now as well. I did get your invitations, you know. You were busy. No. I wasn't. You just... didn't want to come. I would have loved to see you. And Zutash. I did like Zutash. But no, it was... it was the others. You could have said. We could have... We could have made you a separate cake or something. We could have done something for your birthday or my birthday or just for fun. You always were very accommodating. Just wanted everyone to be friends. I know you did, darling. 
I know you did. I am sorry for all this. I don't think you deserve it, actually. I don't think you do either. Over there we are. I'll make this painless. What did the cave ask for? Oh, I... Raya didn't know. I didn't talk to the cave. Zutesh did. Do you want me to... No, I don't, actually. Okay. Let me. And she kind of moves to grab your head. Oh, uh... Do you resist? Uh, she sort of flinches, but I don't think she fully resists. And she's going to cast uh, Detect Thoughts. Ooh. Uh, I mean, Zutash will be is in there and will absolutely fight back on that. So, yeah. Of course she will. Yeah. Um, incredible. Roll me uh, a Detect Thoughts. Uh, she's going to push deeper, obviously. Yes. And this is going to be a... Uh, what is it? A Wisdom Saving Throw. Yeah. Uh, that is a 22. Oh. With a DC of 19, you do defeat I think it. she just hears a, if you don't want to talk to me directly, you don't get to know what I think. <laughs> I heard that too. Yes, no, I figured you would. Um... God, I wish I could witness a conversation between the two of you. You can't really talk. We don't no. really talk. We just sort of... I, well, she sees when I'm awake, and then I get this little, like, flicker as we swap back. But I don't know what happens. That's interesting. Arya. Mm. As much as I am enjoying our discussion, I must ask you... To summon Zutash. Yeah, I I guessed as much. Um, this has been really nice, Lucy, and I know you're dead now, and it's not really you, but. Um, Excuse me. You, the rest of you, have said this as well. I am me. I am no one else. Yes, I have. I have orders I need to follow, but you cannot dismiss me so easily. We were not some happy family. As you all seem to want to think that I should have no ill will towards it happening. Alani, did you know that you probably didn't even know this? Alani made a deal with Rakath to send him to a populated realm because she didn't think we could defeat him. What? No. Mm. Oh yes. Oh, yes, she did. I, Not only that, she destroyed the sigil. She that. let him come into this world again. So look, if I have some ill will towards the group, I don't think it's unfounded. And I don't think I can be so easily dismissed as, Oh, you're not you. Alani's lied to me a lot. Yes. No, she does do that. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Zutash, and it like such a quick snap. Now Zutash, what did the cave want? <laughs> Why should I tell you, Lucy? Because I have enough spell slots to keep casting detect thoughts until you fail. <sighs> Fine. <clears throat> it wanted the body. Of Rakath. Of Rakath. Good. Well, Lucy. We'll see. Is it really you? Ask me anything. <laughs> what happened to your hound? The one who used to play with... Scally. I took him with me. <laughs> to the realm where Rakath lived. 
and she kind of projects this image on the screen of this horrific fight in this other realm of a battle where she was scarred and killed and maimed and her hound protected her and died doing so. I didn't feel like getting another one after that. No. So. Lucy. You were always the most powerful of all of us. Hmm. We can't let him come back. Darling, he's back. He's already back. Where? Where? Where do you think? She gestures out the window to the enormous palatial government building, this palace of the Council of Tor. Right. Stonebeard, darling, you think some political outsider just managed to secure the head seat on the council by happenstance? That doesn't happen. We made that happen. He's been in charge the whole time. Idiots. Mm. <sighs> no. So, tomorrow, you are to be wheeled out. Why am I telling you this? No, I will. Feels fun. I like it. Tomorrow, you will be embarrassed. You will be beaten. And you will be killed by Rakarth, so much so that the realm will never forget that heroes fail, that heroes do not work, and perhaps in another half century another band of heroes may rise thinking that they can defeat Rakarth and maybe they might stand a chance but then we'll do it again. Heroes do fail, but me and you, Lucy, we've never been all hero, have we? That's funny. That's funny you say that, because we did tend to walk on the grey areas. Quite. Why do you think I stayed? <laughs> <laughs> I did like you. I really did. And I like Daria. I don't know why. I don't know why it had to go this way. It doesn't. It... And what do you propose that I do? Fight with us. Darling, I don't have a choice. And she kind of pulls aside her tunic that just... you. I think this might be the first time... You, no, you've, seen, you've seen, seen this before. Crime. You've seen it before. You know. You saw. I can't. Much as I might want to. So. Tell me how to stop it. Ooh. I want you to roll me a persuasion check. Okay. Come on. Ooh, not great. 16. I'm going to roll a... Uh, with that, I think that's enough to justify a saving throw from her on Charisma. Oh, jeez, I forgot how good she was in Charisma. I was going to say, she's going to be well good at Charisma. <laughs> oh, can I... I'm going to add my Dark One's Blessing and add a d10. Okay. This feels important. It's a one. <laughs> 17. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> 17. Unfortunately, that was a 16 on the dice. Plus 12. Oh, okay. Well, it wouldn't have worked either way. That's fine. That's good. And she kind of looks and says, The words would no sooner leave my lips as I would be. Made to cease. <coughs> What would you rather? Watch the entire realm die? Or sacrifice yourself? You know, I don't want, don't know what I want, I'm afraid. Right now I have the 
teensiest amount of autonomy. I'll do it if the time comes. Just say the word. Thank you. <sighs> so, what's going to happen to us in between now and death? Oh, have we got another six hours? I don't know. Hold tight, long rest. Mm, You've got to be on fighting shape, haven't you? <sighs> You ready? No. <laughs> well, good luck. Uh, and she, she's going to um, dimension doorway, and I'd like you to make me a perception check, please. Eighteen. There's a little box that wasn't on the table a minute ago. Hmm. I'll go to it. You go to, would you like to open it? Yes. <laughs> Press all the buttons, do all the things. <laughs> <laughs> you open it. And you see that there is a stone. It's this kind of shimmering blue stone. Could you roll me an arcana check for me? Yes. One, two, three. Come on. Sixteen. I think 16 is good enough. I think you see this thing. It's powerful anti-magic. If you were to crush it and with your spell cast, God fucking damn it. <laughs> with your spell casting ability, cast to spell magic with this at a ninth level which you could do with that, with the artifact. Noted. Maybe you might be able to, s oh God, fucking damn it. Maybe <laughs> you might be able to save Lucy. Okay. But who knows what she wanted you to do with it. Okay. But maybe it might work. You're all, one by one, brought back down <coughs> to the dungeon. And I think, Merrick, this time... Yeah. You're thrown into the same pit as the rest of them. I guess we all had a visit from our dear friend. Your oh, dear friend. Not mine. Do I believe? I wonder when where he says that? is. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, where is that guy? Oh, Cuthbert. Oh yeah. So, how are we all doing? Because like you all look really demoralized. I'm loving this, by the way. Imminent doom for all my nemesises. Pretty cool. But you're not going to. Be the one to have done it, Uriah. You're going to have been defeated by a, a bigger, badder, big bad. Well, well, obviously you're going to defeat that guy and then we're going to have our final face-off, right? No, no, we're, we're, we're going to lose, Uriah. We've sort of already lost and, and uh, that's it, I'm afraid. <laughs> With that, that's not how this works, though. I think sometimes it is well, how it works. Well, no, no. Now, now, hang on a moment. I'm, I'm usually one for villainous monologues. I shouldn't be giving this fucking speech. But look, you, Elani, you're insufferably good insufferably so. And you, Merrick, you're the coolest motherfucker I've ever met. Sneaking up on me, doing sneak attacks on me, stabbing me in the back, it really hurts. But you're doing it, and you're great, and you have a family. That's so cool. That's like a good thing to do, right? And you, Zutash, you're a piece of shit, but Arya, Arya is sunshine and flowers. And Look, I have this theory. 
Like there are good guys, and there are bad guys. Unfucking believable, I said. <laughs> no, 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 no! Hear me out. Hear me out. This is really original. Like it, it is true. There are good guys and there are bad guys. But you know what the secret is? They don't tell you this. Like it's really easy to be bad. Like it's so easy. You treat people like shit and you move on. But it's hard to do what you do. It's hard to be good. Because heroes fail. They fail and they fail and they fail. It's so dumb to keep on trying. But they do it. They fail. And they get back up. Only villains are defeated. They don't get back up. You know, unless some fucking idiot breaks a seal and then they get up. But then you, you defeat them again, don't you? And look at you now lying here on the ground in this shitty cum dungeon. No, this is your time. This is your time, not my time. And yes, we will have our final reckoning and I will buck the curve and I will defeat you, but not now. Not now, you get up, you get your shit together and I'm not gonna say another goddamn word until you have sorted your shit out. Zutash, you figure something out. And he just like sits down and had enough of this bullshit. Keep trying to recapture the magic, and that's not a kind of magic I possess. I only do necromantic shit. I don't do, like, friendship magic. Do you get your shit together? You got, like, a nemesis who, by the way, needs your help. Used to be one of you. She's angry at you. You're angry at each other. I feel like I'm the only one keeping this together. That's not right. Come on, man. This hurts more than any injury I've ever had, but Uriah has a point. We need to this talk time... some things out. Yeah. Alani, Do that. start at the beginning. Tell us everything you did. And actually, sorry, but you need to tell this to Arya, and Zutash will go. No, no, go! Oh, she burned your ass! Oh, this is going to be <laughs> Hello. Hi, Arya. We were just, um... Uriah... Uh, oh, you would have liked it. Uriah gave a very inspirational speech. Oh. Um, it wasn't that good. It was like... Heroism. No, no, no. It he was villainous that... monologue adjacent, I'd say. Uriah, Uriah gave a very inspirational villainous monologue. Thank you. About how... Uh, being a hero is um is is when you you keep trying you get knocked down and you get back up again yeah chumbawamba style and you will triumph in the end um although possibly laboring under some misapprehensions there uh regarding being good and who is and isn't um, I'm not, uh, tried to be, and it, I'm really sorry, Uriah, but I think I ended up doing more bad than you. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I don't, do you, do you, <laughs> when we came to, uh, to fight Rakarth, well, we'd been, we'd been fighting him for a long time, and it was sort of coming to the point where where we either had to uh, defeat him or he was going to take over the realm, summon Tiamat. Uh, I, I, I don't know about you, but it, it felt to me like we had one more chance. And that chance had to work. It had to. There was no way I could leave that to to luck, to our exhausted battling abilities, the hope that we could defeat this powerful creature. The uh, the plan S seal him away to a. To an uninhabited plain, lock him up, never to hurt anyone again. I, uh, I went to him and I told him about it. I said, hey, 
got a plan to lock you up, but maybe, uh, maybe this could work out all right for both of us. I bribed one of the wizards. Bribery, that's also bad. Don't, 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 don't do that. Good heroes don't bribe people, but no, yes, I, I, I did, and, uh, the location got tweaked. Rakarth, uh, chose it, actually. I said, what would it take for you to go? And, um, Lucy found out just, uh, just at the last minute and she was furious. She didn't, uh, didn't give it away, but I guess there was no way we could stay together after that. And, and, and we did it. We got rid of Rakarth. We saved Torofar. That's, that's what we were supposed to do. And I thought for a long time that it was worth it. That that bad thing I'd done was somehow, somehow the price for an overall good. And then I ruined it even more. So that's, uh, that's a whole pile of bad things. And, um, and now this realm's doomed as well. So yes, didn't achieve anything. Didn't save anyone. We might be going to die and we might've lost, but I'm, I'm glad that you all, well, Arya and Merrick, I'm glad that you know that. And even if I can't be a hero, I, I would like to die being your friend if, if you'd have me back. It was a really dumb thing to do, Alani. Hmm. You should have spoken to us. We could have done it together. Would you have agreed to something oh. so no. unheroic? Of course not. Zutash probably yeah. would have. So. Well, <laughs> yeah, no. Kind of, yeah. It had to. I thought it had to be done, and. I thought you would be happier being alive and not bearing that responsibility. As a leader, you take decisions that you think are in the best interests, but we would have stood by you. We would have told you no, and we could have done it together. Well, I guess if we're sharing, I'm, my name is Merrick, this is some sort of shame circle we're doing. Shame. Hi, Merrick. Hi, yeah. Hi, Merrick. I went to a lot of therapy after I left you guys, um, to find my place in the world. Well, people keep telling me I should try that. Really I think it would be Merrick. really good for you, Alani. You know what? It's worth <laughs> yeah. it. I yeah. thought so long about how much I hated just being seen as a assassin for hire that would sell drugs to kids and adults, even though we shouldn't do that. And then I met someone who saw me as someone that wasn't from that life. And I realized that I'd put myself in this box. And that shame I had, I buried it so deep, put it into an attic, and became Bonnie. But with that, I buried our friendships, the good times, the the bad times, and I point to Uriah at this point, like, hell yeah. <laughs> the highlights. And I was so scared when I had to open that box back that 
suddenly I would put what I had in danger. And so I shut off, as I always do, revert back to, oh god, early teenage self, running off by myself, thinking I can solve my problems with a backflip. Which, my god, my back absolutely hurts, guys. I, I would not recommend. It was a good um, backflip, though. I, my really... back hurts sometimes, That's, too. Yeah, it, does, right? it never yeah. used to. There's like a crick in my neck sometimes if I sleep oh, funny, about... and I've never had that uh, before. Yeah, that is weird. Look, yeah. I... I don't have a spine, so. <laughs> oh, you have no <laughs> spine? No, it's all flesh. Continue. I will. <laughs> Look. It's all jelly back there. <laughs> jelly all the way down. That's... Wow. <laughs> Look. Oh, I just revert to being scared. And when I'm scared, I run. And when I heard you were here, I knew that you would come for me to come and help. And Like you, Alani, I just thought it'd be better if I made the decision for us, but that's not what HOT is about. It's about making decisions together. It's about coming together and making the change. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Arya, that I didn't come to your picnics. I'm sorry, Alani, that I shouted at you. And I forgive you. And I know you might feel like right now you're not worthy of the forgiveness, Alani, but trust me, as someone who's been there, you are. You are worthy of so much. And your heart is true. Even if your actions are not so um, heroic. But you don't have to do this alone. We don't have to do this alone. We can... We can stop this from happening, even if it might cost us a lot. And that I'm prepared to do. I forgive you as well, Alani. And you, Merrick. You don't have... Um, I was really mad at both of you. And I'm sorry that I didn't communicate that very well. Um, I was happy to see you, but also very upset. Because I just wanted to see you. I never really cared about, oh, this sounds bad. I never really cared about saving the world and stuff. I just, I just wanted to make sure you were all okay. And you know, you two are kind of, you know, you don't do the magic stuff. So I worry about you because those fireballs, they're ow sometimes and <laughs> You know, who's going to counterspell stuff if I'm not there? And I just wanted to protect you. And I don't think I fully accepted that maybe you didn't need protecting. I'm sorry. I'll take some protecting. I, I'm, you, you can protect me anytime. I <laughs> always die the way here, so yeah. I, I think we're going to have to do a lot of protecting tomorrow. Hey, and Uriah? Mm, yeah. <clears throat> Thanks for um, being you know, my villain the last couple of years. Oh, pff, it's nothing. Um, I've been trying to resurrect this like dustpan and brush full what? of ash. Oh. I'm getting nothing from it. It's like <laughs> a little bit of snail, a little bit of rat. Do you think you don't want to look at this? It's you... bad. You're trying to bring. <laughs> Are you trying to bring back Scally? Well, it was gonna be a surprise but um i'm sure run over and just like hug the oh, flesh what, the fuck? Get off. Ah, no. what are you doing ha! Not letting go <laughs> ha! He <laughs> tried to attack me like that uriah it's a hug i don't know what that is what the fuck is that come here put your arms around me come on careful of the wings this feels like a trap but no nope, okay. it's not okay see does that feel nice Merrick, Alani, get in. Yeah, I'll walk behind. And, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See? Well, if it... If it'll annoy Uriah... Yeah. Um, and... Uh, 
I can't cast Find Familiar quickly, can I? I can't just like summon. Will you let me cast it at fifth level and just suddenly and then Scally number 20 will um, mm-hmm. circle and like land on Arya's shoulder and like nuzzle into your Uriah. Why does it feel like there's like a fire spell starting in the middle of my rib cage? What is that? Oh, uh, don't worry about it. It's good for you. Yeah. Welcome to hot, Uriah. Oh, no, I don't like that. Oh, no, 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 I, no, no. I actually, I don't think, no, if we should be called heroes anymore. No, 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 you should be, you should be, and I can be, uh, uh, ooh, um, Avot, uh, arch-villain of, yeah. Well, no, you that, can be Avot, Avot, and yeah. maybe we could be, like, not, like, not heroes of Torafar. Man, you suck, truly. Well, like, get get I off, didn't... all of you. Okay. <laughs> I, I thought this was meant to be, like, good for you, but, like, I don't know, the talking was good and the near crying was, look, good on you for, like, getting your shit together. Like, well, well done. Um, we gonna kill a dragon? I'm up for it, Alani. I don't want to lie anymore. I don't think we can. I I, I think we're all going to die. And I know, I know uh, leaders aren't supposed to say that, but trying a thing called honesty. Uh, heard it can be quite a good thing. Ah, overrated. <coughs> lie to yourself. That, that's, uh-huh. all be- <laughs> that, that's all belief is, isn't it? I do a lot of it. Could we... Put- I'll put my hand in the center, and I'm like, we can't do it without you, Alani. Come on. Even if we can't, if we can't defeat the dragon, do you think maybe, maybe we could save Lucy? Uh, maybe Zutash we could try. Will come back. <laughs> Hello. Hmm. I think we can <laughs> certainly try. She'll put her hand in. As you put your hands all in the center, you just hear kind of a, 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 you've got this little great window kind of to like, you know, street level, just up high. Kind of hear a little tap, tap, tap on the bars and a little, hey guys, what are you doing? Oh God. You are unreal, actually. (laughs) What? How did you, can you get us out, Cuthbert? Oh, no, like, I'm oh, okay, right. first level commoner. <laughs> I thought you bad. might be like a level <laughs> yeah. 20 wizard right now. Functionally I useless. About, yeah. I could just touch his nose and he'd fall to bits. Oh, yeah, I have a guy like four hit points. Okay, well, <laughs> are we high up? No, you're on, like, the ground, right? No, he's yeah, on you... street level and okay, you're, the window's God. up high. Okay, cool. Um, yes, Cuthbert. I, I just, well, yeah. Uh, you're going to need to start a new chapter. Okay. You can call it. I'm not good at titles. When we fucking killed a dragon. Yep. That uh, good. I, we might need to, a lot of nope. children read these books. I, nope. This is going to be the adult <laughs> version, Cuthbert. Yep. Right. Hot after dark. As <laughs> this conversation is happening, um, Alani, you would just feel a soft, like, pull on your arm and, hey, goody two shoes, get over here. Yeah. Hi. Hey, Hi. What's all this bullshit about you not thinking you can defeat Rackarth? Oh, um, well, you know how we were trying to stop him summoning Tiamat? Well, I think, I think he did already. Uh, and, and destroyed everything and, um, yeah, no, I, I, I genuinely, I can stop saying it, but, but like, my back hurts. We're not as, we're not as young as we were. Let's be honest. Maybe we could. Okay, sure. Maybe by some chance we could have uh, defeated him all those years ago. But he's got a lot more powerful since then, and we haven't. I, I, I judge pie com- competitions at, at local fairs. That's what I've been doing with my time. Look, you want to know something my therapist told me before I killed her? 
Yes. Good. Yes, please. Yes. So, some people, not me, obviously, but some people suffer from like anxiety and imposter syndrome kind of thing. And you know the thing about... Um, you know the thing about depression? It is... It is our brain's most convincing lie. And the only way to combat it is to just... Lie to yourself every morning. And it's not a lie, it's a truth. But your brain will think you're lying when you say, Hey... I see you in the mirror and you're fucking great. It's using the same tricks that your brain is using against you to fight back. You need to do that. You need to tell yourself how great you are. Because you, you are, you're good. You are, you are a good person. I'm not. I, I'm, the thing is, I'm, the reason this is confusing is because you're telling me that lying is good, but it's not lying, it's the truth. But you're bad and you said you're bad. So if you're bad and you say that things are good, then does that mean they're actually bad? Do you well, see? yeah, in my circumstance, it's, I was looking in the mirror and I was saying, hey, you, you're terrible. And I was great for my self-esteem. But for you, you need to try right. the opposite thing. Like, look at the way... A, no, 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 a, hey. I don't have a mirror. I don't have no, a mirror, you're right. Hey, I can't do the therapy trick if I don't have a mirror. all you need to do is look in the eyes of your friends. Look at the way that they look at you. Look how they look up to you. You are leader, Lani. God damn it, you are leader. Zutash, pitch black. No eyes. <laughs> no, really, no. I don't like looking in Zutash's eyes. It's not. It's yeah, very no unsettling. It's, she is, it's no. like a black pit of despair. But I get it. Right. But hey, can I just, just can I just practice on you? I mean, yeah, sure. These sunken pearls. Yeah, go for it. Now I will stare into the sunken pits of uh, your eyes. Bony face. Yeah, take it in. Yeah, all right. <sighs> Just we, yeah, we mm. are, are going to kill a dragon. And what are you? I'm a goddamn hero of Torafar. Yeah, you goddamn are. Yeah, and what am I? You're dastardly. Yes. You're an arch villain of Torafar. Thank you. Thank you very Avot. much. Yes. So take that energy. Like that is what they see in you. Just right. see yourself in the way that everyone else sees you. And you will be as powerful as they think you are. And as powerful as you can be. And I know you can be. You've kicked so much ass. It's a pretty good therapy tricks. Yeah. Right? I, uh, yeah. Yeah. And you got all that from one session. One session and then, like, done. <laughs> I decapitated that therapist. It felt I, great. I really got to try therapy. Yeah, you do. But, like, it's expensive and it is hard to afford on a freelancer's salary. I'm telling you that much. The, the state fairs, they don't they don't pay that much. I'm going to no. turn around. <laughs> yeah. Go, go right. try that trick on eyes that don't look like two cat anuses. Go. Yeah, oh, that was not. Oh, Jesus right. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> heroes, ex heroes, whatever the hell we are, not heroes. <clears throat> we need to defeat a dragon. Let's have some brainstorming. We've got a few hours before go time. Right. And I could get, I could like go against the people if you like needed help or something. I don't know, like support or whatever. Help would be lovely, Cuthbert. Who do you have access to? I mean, I got a speaking stone at a lot of time on my hands. There are very few people I don't have contacts with. Great, we'll take the full army. The okay. As many as who can get here individually. Um, how do I? Okay. Serious, I, I kind of been listening it. So, what do I say to the army about the leader of the Tower Council actually being a dragon? Don't say that. Would be okay. would be point one. So we're going to start with a dragon is coming. Got it. Got oh, it. that's good. Come to Torafar City. I I think I could work with that. Yeah. Yes. Where we'll did where did Zach, where did we see? 
Where did we see everyone going? Did we see the military leaving the city? Yes. You did see, you saw, yes, yes okay. the military leaving the city. Not the entire military, but like there will yeah. be divisions like outside the city. Um, this is a very reasonable request. <laughs> About turn, that kind of thing would be in the message but, I would Oh yeah, say. I got, um, I'll see what I can do, yeah. And you know, any... Yeah, I was going to say, Cuthbert, could you, I Here don't know, is. put in an order for some healing potions? Maybe about, healing. I don't know, a couple each would be really I'll, great. I'll see what I can do, but yeah, I think just, I could, you know. Yeah. Do you have any money? Fuck it out. I'll, I'll go into my pocket. I'll, <laughs> oh my God, my, I was like... Oh, I'll, oh, I'll, I'll give my mum purse, because I always have money on me, so I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll get yeah. some. And... Can you get some poison for me? That'd do the, the trick just right. The, so, uh, What's the poison for, you right? Oh, what do you... I quaff that and I get health points up the wazoo. It's great. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, okay. I'm dead. I really don't need to be reminded. <laughs> yeah. um, I, will, I will take, you know, anything strong. And you tell you what, anything that can give me spells back. That would hey, be lovely. This is a fight of magical artifact. You, you know, I bet have something in mind. I'll say what I can do. Great. Thank you. God, you're you, um, we should have kept you around longer. I know. I, Look, I mean, I, I did you, say that at the time, but you just yeah. said, I'll get out of here, Cuthbert, you're not sharing the royalties. Cuthbert's <laughs> books, Cuthbert's I mean... books have been doing great <laughs> stuff for our reputation for the last few years. I, I've, been, I've been telling you. Uh, now, Cuthbert, you, you know people in literary circles, yeah. writers, journalists, influencers. Useless influence. creators. Yes, yes. <laughs> the influencer market has really exploded into our city lately. Yeah. Artists. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, Layabouts. You, perhaps you could... Um, uh, creators. <laughs> put in... Put in, uh, not a good word for us, but... You want a Bobby vlogger? I get out of here, my dude. Ooh, make us a meme. Do that. It's a meme. I got it. <laughs> Could you just tell people that heroes, they're human. They're flawed. But you know what they do? That goes against your whole image. I, I know, but honesty might be... A little bit, a little sprinkling of honesty. Small yes. flaws. Don't play up the flawed element, but just mention this it. This is the for... real about face for you, Aladi. I think it's a good thing, Cuthbert. Mm. You know, we're, we're basically... Heroes are human. Everyone can be a hero of Torifar. Even Not if you're that a I can sell. Oh, go. everyone could be a hero. Got it. So, like a a, a recruitment drive, you just oh, turn up. Oh, maybe not for auditions. tomorrow. Otherwise, a lot of innocent people might just yeah, die. Uh, but die. Uh, oh, they'll be chaffed to the slaughter. Yes. <laughs> yes. Anyone can eventually become a hero with a lot of training, and the important thing is that even though heroes aren't perfect, they do get back up again, and they. Do keep trying, and they will definitely defeat a dragon. We need to work well, on your pithy catchphrase. Wh when you I get really knocked down, you get back up again. Yeah, like yeah. in a bathtub. <laughs> like that one. Yeah. Saving the day every day. That's a good one. Okay, so let me recap the list. I will get the full RB. Correct. Health potions. Yes. Yep. Something to get Zutashra spells lads back. Love that. And a sprinkling of honesty. Yeah. Perfect. And some whiskey drink and some cider drink and some vodka <laughs> drink as well, if you could. Only no, if no. you have time, though, for real. It's just pressing. The lemon the drizzle and lemon poppy seed muffins. Oh, oh yes. Shit. Go to the bacon. Yeah, no. You know the one. Yes. Yeah, I'll do that. He also used to be a member of the militia, that baker, so that would be super useful. Oh, uh, oh, we could get the Tor militia back together. Yeah, proper guerrilla warfare. You they know. might also die. Yeah, no, I know. I know <laughs> but then, you know, someone needs to take over the bakery, so like everyone's they, they a winner. Have, they haven't been active since before Hot is banded, so maybe they might come back. Okay. Exactly. Okay, so I got it. I'll go. You guys have therapy, Thanks. and I'll go get it. I'll Great. see you guys later. Sure. And Cuthbert kind of scurries away. And in the final moments of this episode, do any of you have anything that you would like to get across? Mary? Have... Oh, hello. Yes. Uh, Zutash will pull you to the side. 
Oh, okay. Tomorrow, mm. you get out. You find your daughter and you leave. That's a very kind offer. I am going to refuse It's not that. an offer. <laughs> Look, we've just bargained our way to make sure Alani wants to fight the dragon. If I leave now, it's not going to look very good. I've made my peace that I will never see my family again. But what I hope is that Rosalind can grow up in a world that can have heroes in again. That will only work if I do the deed. Eric. I'm not going to run anymore. No, Sitash is fine. You have something that I will never have. And I don't want to see you throw it away trying to be a hero. I actually had a thought about that. It's not a hero thing. It's kind of like an anti-hero thing. Okay. Let's just be anti-heroes. <laughs> A-hot. Yeah. A-hot. <laughs> exactly. We're because A-hot. It, it doesn't work as well, but we can work. It we doesn't, try. but... And I sort of lean in very close to the chest. Because anti-hero kind of includes villains, doesn't it? Maybe Uriah can be an anti-hero for once. I don't care about Uriah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I see there's more therapy needed here. No, perhaps, no, but, uh... I hate you, Uriah. <laughs> That's why Could I've we... got his soul keep, and she'll go, Mother, Uriah! <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> and, as oh, the bic- <laughs> and as the momentary bickering recommences, unless there's anything else, I think we're going to end this episode as our heroes await their fate in a dungeon to fight a dragon. Thank you so much for watching the penultimate episode of Once a Hero. Uh, Dungeon and dragon. Singular. (laughs) Singular. I love it. Dragon. Next week, we are going to fight a dragon. We're going (laughs) to save our our, our former adventuring party members, and we're going to see our families again yeah maybe sure sure and maybe you're all gonna go to therapy (laughs) gonna kill everyone no (laughs) oh okay thank you so much (laughs) amazing oh thank you you guys have fun (laughs) fun is a strong so much fun wow (laughs) Uriah is vibing. I'm having a yeah. great time. <laughs> Uriah is straight vibing though. Like he, he's been so good. He's been so good. No, Such it's... a nice group hug. I liked the group yes. hug. Yes, I know. That scene between all three of you, delightful. Stop it! It was all four. You were it, absolutely yeah. no, 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 no. I was no. Like the healing between all three of you was so it was really good. Yeah. Really beautiful. Really, really lovely. Group therapy. Yeah. therapy works. Lovely, lovely, oh, lovely please. stuff. Um, I am going to suggest that we do a quick whiz round um, and tell everyone where they can find us um, and then we will do our pat- uh, patron shout outs. Let's take, uh, let's do a, a medium long whiz round while Emily finds the Patreon stuff because I logged up. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Um, uh, let us start with Ed. Uh, my medium long uh, <laughs> thing. I'm back in now, you'll find your voice. <laughs> okay, yeah. cool. Uh, Slowly. I, uh, no. Edward Spence. Uh, you can find me everywhere <laughs> at Edward underscore Spence underscore. I am a forever and perennial GM and very, very happy, uh, which is why it's such a delight to be invited here as a player. Um, you can find some of my work not only on the RP Geeks channel in the form of universally acknowledged uh, Good Society Sci Fi. Like a um, year ago, and- we realized. Like, a year ago. Basically, it was exactly uh, a year ago, yeah. And uh, Orbital Blues, Black Star, using Soul Muppet's uh, Orbital Blues uh, system. It's about very sad, very space, very cowboys, and it is heartbreaking. Um, you can also find me every Tuesday at 8pm uh, 
British time uh, over on Wounded Warrior Project, where we have commenced our latest season of the Fourth Age, our imagined next chapter in the, has in the history of Middle Earth. It stars uh, Becca Godsey, it stars Jasper William Cartwright, it stars Lexi McQueen and Crown and Sam, and we have incredible overlays by Stella Luna and amazing art by Anna Sassi and Emmy Miller. It is a phenomenal series, and tomorrow uh, you can catch me on Spotify Spotify or your podcast uh, catcher of choice um, over on my first dungeon where we will be commencing our four episode mini series of Paint the Town Red. It is DM'd by the incredible Brian and award winning Brian Flaherty and it stars Draconix, Chinook, Super Dylan and myself. Uh, it's going to be a very sad, very emotional and very funny time set in 1920s New York. That is everything from me. Beautiful. Glorious. Uh, Zach. Hello, I'm Zach. Uh, you can find me all over the internet at ZachFG. That's Z-A-C-K-F-G. If you like what I did here today, uh, then what I'd like to recommend is you go to the RP Geeks YouTube channel and you can check out other games that I've done like Kids on Bikes, Dead Roots with the wonderful Jasper William Cartwright, with Ali, who's one of the RP Geeks, and Shamini, and Emily. Um, and that's a really good game. Then I also did Masks 2044. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, we Mask. occasionally forget what not year it was. It was 2044, not yeah, 2044. Now, yeah. it's the future. <laughs> uh, with the just absolutely in irreplaceable and unable to be copied Nathan Blades. Uh, and of course, uh, Liv Kennedy, along with your usual RP geeks of Emily and Shamani. That is also a very emotional look. I got, I've He's got, got a, a style of game. <laughs> You're a party. Uh... One of you's gone. <laughs> look, they're coming look. back. <laughs> It uh, works. Drama. It works. No, it, it does work. It, <laughs> it does, works. We're not complaining. <laughs> uh, and this one, slightly different because there was a dungeon and a dragon. Yes, uh, dragon. Dungeon and dragon is going to be the name of this episode. Dungeon and dragon. Yes. yes. Dungeon and dragon. Dungeon and come dragon. Yes. 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 Dungeon no, and dragon. No, stop dungeon. saying it. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, don't I, want to I shot that. myself in the foot as soon as I said it. Yeah, um, you knew it like Ed thought nothing of it. Uriah, however, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you uh, finish those series, then you're like, well, I would love to see more Zach, which. Well done. <laughs> um, you can find me over on Realms of Peril and Glory, which is an actual play podcast with beautiful original music, wonderful sound design. So good. So really good. Great storytelling. Uh, Emily, Fiona, Ed are about to be on our new Solemn Vale series. It will be premiering this Ooh. holiday season. Holiday season. This holiday Ooh, season. Is it Halloween? I've so, had, it's I've so had some of the edits festive. back from the editors. It's really happening. Oh my god, I want to hear it so bad. Um, I know. It was very fun, very festive, very little drama. It was wonderful. Yeah, no drama. Uh, it's a folk horror RPG. Uh, and and genuinely, we'll have the most content warnings of any content we've ever put on Realms of Peril and Glory. Uh, do with that information what you will. It's also an amazing game. Um, if you want more Shamini, you can find cool. her... And don't say anything, Emily. We've done this enough times. Uh, if you want more uh, Shamini, you can find her on our Cyborg series. That's cyberpunk. Again, horrible, gross, very funny. Um, with myself, James Barbarossa, Maddie Searle, and Pip Gladwin. Um, great series that, that you absolutely should not miss. We just finished our second series of that. And of course, in our Liminal London series, Shamini pops up as guest twice for eight episodes, I think in total, um, as uh, Dr. Annie Walker, a vampire, a newly with born- guidance. With newly born into Liminal London, uh, without understanding exactly what has happened to her and our party need to uncover the truth about her being turned from a vampire uh, into a vampire in the city. Um, and that that's that's everything. That's realmspod.com. R-E-A-L-M-S-P-O-D.com. Thank you very much. Thank you, Zach. Thank Fiona. You. Right. Uh, so when I'm not having relationships with all sorts of people, uh, guards, <laughs> all the people. Of the and all the people <laughs> dead. 
uh, worshipper of uh, Rakaf. Uh, you can find me uh, to, being the host of What Am I Rolling, which is a twice monthly tabletop RPG one shot podcast, which we do lots of different RPG systems and uh, interviews with game designers. I can now reveal after weeks of me going, there's an announcement happening. It happened two weeks ago now because obviously Yay. time is funny. Uh, where is now part of the one shot podcast network. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Which is very, very iconic. Exciting. Iconic. 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 It is. I still can't believe it myself. Uh, and as a result, uh, obviously, uh, episodes are going to go out on the network, which is very exciting. Exciting. Hooray for ad revenue. Woohoo. Uh, but also, Woo. I'm going to be part of the Patreon drive that's happening in mid October. So I'm going to be popping up all on their channel. So just follow One Shot Network wherever you are on social media and come check us out. I'm going to be running some games. I'm going to be part of some games. Uh, there may be even a pub quiz that I'm running because that's the British thing I could think of bringing into oh, it. Oh, um, but it's going, be, it's going to be quiz. very late Thanks. UK time, um, normal time, US time. So uh, I'll check out the VODs if you guys are interested. But yeah, go check that out. If you like Fiona, I I don't care about any of those. Good, good for you, you know, clap, clap. Uh, but dragon and dungeon, what else? And I'm like, well, we've got the the D and D, the DM's book club, a weekly book club podcast. We talk about some dungeon dragons and we discuss where we would include it and improve it for our role playing campaigns. We read the books so you don't have to. Um, to the point where I'm doing some solo plays of uh, like almost like a choose your own adventure, but uh, choose your own path is what it's called because choose your own adventure is copyrighted. Um, where mm-hmm. I go and try and find out that. my way through a fairy mound. It's not going to go well. <laughs> Sorry, through a what? <laughs> I heard a it fairy too. mound. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, go check out What Am I Rolling and the DMs Book of wherever you listen to podcasts. Thank you so much. <laughs> so tell us the patrons. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's do the let's do the um, Patreon shout outs. Uh, let's do a D10 today, please. Who's got it? Someone got a D10. Oh, I gosh. have. Uh, uh, uh. Hang on. Go I've got one. Ten. Ten. Aaron Hammonds. Woo-hoo. Oh, it's Aaron Hammonds. Uh, where in our lovely world might Aaron Hammonds fit in? Mm. I feel like Aaron would probably be one of the gods questioning uh, oh. one of us at some point. That's yeah. good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, please, hey, goodbye. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. And, and like doubly it's evil, sneaky. very yeah. probing. Yeah. Like where getting under you? your skin. Oh, we mm. yeah. Pop the see. questions. Like, yeah. Playing bad cop, not even a cop. <laughs> <laughs> bad. I'm just a guard. Bad guard. <laughs> bad criminal. Bad criminal. <laughs> good criminal. Bad criminal. <laughs> <sighs> good. Stunning. Lovely. Bad Who else? criminal side of bad criminal. One more. Let's go. <laughs> uh, my D10 rolled <coughs> off the table. Five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. It's Megan Ramirez. Ah, oh, Megan. Megan's in chat. I reckon Megan is one of the members of this this thing that we just invented called the Tor Militia. Oh yeah, I reckon oh, that's nice. She yeah. was like, the "What does she do now, though?" Of it. Like she was. She, but what do they yeah. do since disbanding? What does like because the Tor Militia hasn't been around for ages? They're all running yeah. bakeries now, you know. It's true. And I wa- every I wonder... Sunday for bowls. <laughs> bowls. Maybe like. Oh, it's like a yeah militia reunion. Maybe like <laughs> they have their reunions. Maybe like a cool priest, Ooh, a cool like priest. a cool priest. Okay, of like a sun god, but like that priest that like runs the youth club and is like, yes. mm, you know, I'm gonna make Does sure these kids have like yeah. life skills <laughs> and is like really good Cooking. and like wholesome. Yeah. But attached then, to the expected. temple as like a nice little cafe bakery and all of the bakeries yeah. across yeah. Tor- like yeah. all connect. It's the underground bakery. The underground yes. breakery system. Yeah. Run. When they reactivate the militia, the it's going to be passing secret notes in poppy seed muffins. Exactly. Uh, yeah. That's how nice. they're going to do it. That's what Cuthbert's yeah. going to do. I love it. This is yeah. great. Uh, We're going to be saved by Cuthbert the and muffins, muffins and the uh, yeah, former yeah. tour militia. <laughs> Megan Ramirez Megan. said in chat, definitely not selling the kids drugs. That's no, bad. That's that makes me think <laughs> you are. <laughs> <laughs> Don't deny it. Gonna, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, that sounds sweet, wrong. Sweet sugar Never addiction. deny selling kids. Yeah, you, no, no, do deny it, but d- only if directly Don't deny too asked. much. <laughs> yeah. I hope folks don't are clipping offer the this. denial. Yeah. Like, I don't sell kids drugs. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> like, why would you? Uh, Justification. For. Lovely. Uh, you too can become one of our patrons if you go to patreon.com forward slash rpgeeksdnd. And in fact forward slash rp geeks dnd is basically the way to get anywhere you want to get that involves our content whether that's twitter instagram tiktok 
What's that merch shop we have? Oh, God. God knows. Tmail.com. Might be Tmail. It's Tmail. It's T-E-W-E-M-I-L-L.com. There is only merch from our first campaign. I've got plans. I've got plans. Oh, good. rpgeeks.tmail.com. Is that what it is? rpgeeks.tmail.com? Yes. T-E-E-M-I-L-L. Yeah, but like, honestly... I did a design oh, where there were D twenty dice, but like one of them's a planet, really one of cool. them's a chemical, and one of them's That's an really atom. Cool it's cool. That's really That's, good. I really Look, like. I, I the we, never split the we've party. Got some more. That's still my favorite T-shirt. <laughs> the party. I was in charge of names. the names. Fun names everywhere. Yes, <laughs> yeah. It's just the name. Um, the anyway, I'm, I've got I, I've got plans for more merch. So oh, sorry, I've just randomly mentioned girl. merch. Sorry, um, that was that was not <laughs> planned for. Follow the RP Geeks. Yeah, Thanks so much. Back. I forgot about this. Um, <laughs> this this is such a good like thing. Right, so oh, here yeah. are the names of the three t-shirts with each of our characters on. So my character's called Infinite Sky 6000 or Infinity. The t-shirt's called The Infinity. Clever. Very good. Good. Uriel's yeah. was Uriel's Reality. And it's just a picture mm. of Uriel. It's less good. But the best one, Tenebris, is just t <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> <That's>... No. <laughs> no. No. The... Stunning. Your Stunning skills are work. wasted. Your skills are wasted Stunning. on the name of I would really, I would really like to point out that that creativity did not go over to the tank tops. The tank yeah. tops? Where because they? they're truly just Uriel tank top. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> was, I didn't. No, that's because I think someone said. It all ran dry. I think, uh, I think Simon said he wanted a tank top with Uriel on it. Or it was like one of the first things we made. And I was like, sure. Like the You Dig t shirt is awful. Um, and I think we could do a better design. But anyway, it's fine. It's, it's anyway. Done. Bye anyway, <laughs> it's a really. By the way, if you are going to set up a shop for anything you're doing, T Mill is great, yeah. um, because they're really yeah. like um, environmentally friendly and things as well. They're really great, mm, and I highly, yeah, highly recommend them. For, they were, yeah. And they were really easy yeah. to set up and work with. It was really cool. So anyway, nice. Maybe we will I put some it. more stuff on there or something. <laughs> we will. I've got plans. Okay, I've got more designs coming. Oh, we will see you to. here next week if you're watching live. At an undetermined oh. time, if you're not watching live, we, but the point is, we will see you. Yes very soon for the final episode of Once a Hero. Thank you all so much. Thank you for being here. We'll see you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.